Okay, so Foot Soldier and Avi have been going for hours to uh, Foot Soldier's, um, uh, I don't even know what word to use right now, but it's 4 a.m. for him, so he's really tired, so, you know, for anyone watching this recording fresh, he can't be expected to be exactly spry and whatnot. But anyway, they're going to go back and forth on name the trait, so, you know, go ahead and do that. Okay, just real quick, I'd say... Uh, uh, just uh, off the top of my head, so name trait core argument um, says on pain of P uh, and not P, so the pain of a proposition and the negation. But if you've got uh, if you've got the propagation uh, a proposition and its negation, then you've not got like two propositions, right? You've just got one proposition and its negation. So even if you're going to do what Brim was talking about with the um, nominal identities and stuff like this. But I don't see how you can with one single proposition. So what I'm getting at, you can't contrast two things right? if you've got one proposition. So you would have to say that thing X has more value and thing X has not got more value. But then there's not two propositions in that. So you can't contrast that between two things. So even if you've just got like a nominal sense of value, um, it doesn't seem to work within the boundary of one proposition. Um, do, you, do you follow what I'm saying? Let's say you have um, thing. Let's say you have thing X and X prime. Thing X and thing X prime. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just so basically by now I'm gonna take it. We're naming we're naming thing X X and we're naming thing X prime X prime. We're just we're just naming it. We're just using it as a name to track it. Yeah, we're but uh, it we've got what. Sure, but we've got one proposition, right? So we we don't have yeah. two separate propositions. We can't well, have, only, if have we X and X. Everything other than the name. If we're equalizing everything other than the name, then the only difference, the only predicable difference, is the name. Yeah, well, then I can value the name. Yeah, you can value the name, and then if we say the name, and then what we can just say if the name was the same. If the name was the same, then you would be affirming a contradiction. If you would sure, still say then... thing X and X and, and and thing X does and does not have value. Sure, but then at that point, the nominal value, you don't even have a nominal value because you've just made it the same. So you're literally saying A is A. Well, that's the point. The point is that if you were to value the name and then you were to say, okay, well, let's say the name was changed. Let's say we changed X prime to X. If we change X prime to X and you say, well, does X prime, does your answer change? Does X prime still have, still not have value and you don't change your answer? Then you would be affirming a contradiction. Yeah, but you, you're now saying that I've got two objects or one object or whatever, whether or not, I don't care. There's two uh, things that we can speak about or there's at least a juxtaposition which we can speak about. But now we can't even speak about the juxtaposition itself because the nominal identity has been made the same. So now just under Aristotelian logic, that's, it doesn't make any sense. That's what, well, it, the, the sense that it makes is that it's it's just it, just imagine it. Imagine what I want you to try to imagine here. Um, imagine thing A and thing B, and imagine in between these two things there are all these possible differences between the two things. They're all there. There's a finite amount of differences that can be. Let's say we have, let's say we have twenty differences between thing A and thing B. Let's make it simple. Um, Imagine these are all stretched out, so we can we can move on the scale from one. If we, as we change one difference, what if we change one set of differences, and we can get closer and closer to the other thing? Sure, now, sure. The question, the question well, like is the question, Yeah, the, the question the question isn't whether the question isn't even whether it's it's possible to have these two things be things and and not not their things. The the question is if we just move along that scale, if you maintain the same value. If you say this has value and this does not have value, and you'd say, okay, well, what if this? What if we're talking about this itch, this this case? What if we're talking about this case? And as we move toward that spectrum closer to the initial one, and if we get there, and you say there's still value and not value, there's a contradiction there, and there's no way around that. Yeah, sure, sure but I could I could say I have value these atoms, and then you've presented me with an iteration which is close but not identical to these atoms. But then you create the, 
the the version which is mm -hmm. the same atom so it's now yeah. the same and let's yeah, just be agnostic that, to the that, identity of intersonables for a minute that, that is yeah, that, let's just be agnostic to the identity the of intersonables at now, this point why why and, why is that not make wait wait what why what's the problem with that well yeah even if we are uh, agnostic to the identity of intersonables um and but we're still assigning nominal identities then i could say that hidden within this um structure or th this being th th there's two beings but i value the one i value nominal identity okay and then if we and then if we say that the nominal identity wasn't nominally different and then you and then we say okay if the nominal identity wasn't nominally different they would be the same thing and if the person says if the nominal identity was if the nominal identity wasn't different and you don't change your answer in value you're affirming a contradiction that's all that's being said um, yeah, but but there's nothing to juxtapose because to. They would be the same thing. Yeah, but there's nothing to juxtapose now. You, you've just deleted the original that's the thing point. that I was. That's that's that's, that's the point. That's why I would entail a contradiction. Yeah, but but then the argument doesn't work. Wait, how does the, the, the argument? There's nothing to juxtapose. Look, can you can you? Present the argument to me, and can you present um, can you present an argument for what what why there's nothing to juxtapose anymore? So let's say that I've got um, uh, your mom or something. Wait, what, don't what, know what do you think we're about. juxtaposing? Let me just what 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 is it that we're, you think we're juxtaposing? All that, all that's being done is we we're taking we're taking these conceptual just again imagine we're taking these two conceptual different states. We're taking us thing A and thing B. And if we just all it's all it really is being said is if we were to equalize thing A to thing B, if the values are different and thing A is equalized to B thing B, if thing A was thing B, then if you say the value is different, you're affirming the contra a contradiction. Uh, let, let's say let's say we've got a woman, and we've but let, let, let's just um, say that your mom, right? Uh, not not saying that. You know. Silly way or something. Uh, just a family member, your mom, and we have a chicken, and then we do this trait equalization process where we've made all the molecules the same and the nominal identity is the same, yeah. including the history yeah. has mm -hmm. been overwritten with the history of the chickens. Yeah. And so your mom mm -hmm. was never your mom. Your mom was always a chicken, and we've yeah. never been talking. Yeah. We're not talking which, about which your is, mom. We're just which talking. Which is logically possible on a B theory of time. Well. You've Which you've got no, nothing to juxtapose with the original mom yeah. because not not only have you said this is no longer your mom, this was never your mom in the first place. This has always mm -hmm. been a chicken. It is a chicken and has nothing to do with your mom. You've also said the nominal identity of this being your mom is no longer your mom. So this isn't even referencing your mom. There's there's no mumness yeah. anymore and, in and this chicken. It's just a chicken. And, and that's why it would entail a contradiction. That's that's so, that's why it would entail a contradiction, because because there would be, because it would have to be the same thing in history and all essential and non-essential, all essential and all would have to be the same. That's why it would be, that's why it would be a contradiction. Yeah, sure, but but if you say, if you say I value a chicken, but I don't value a chicken. Then that would be a contradiction, yeah. right? Yeah. Like yeah, I that's value it, this chicken, but I don't. That's what it reduces to, though. If we if we say that we, your look, if we say that your mom, this thing that you have thought is, you can even like do it in perceptions. The thing that you thought was your mom, like it turns out it's not your mom anymore. Like you realize it's not your mom. Now it's now it was a chicken all along. You realize that it was a chicken all along, and you realize it turns out that, that there's no history of this realization even. Like, it's just now you're going into this state where it's just like, okay, it's just a chicken. Um, I don't know why the juxtaposition is necessary. All that's saying is that whatever is there is now, whatever there is that you are observing, if you say that there is still a, not a difference in the value when you started from, if you say your mom has value, the chicken does not have value, and then you're looking at the outcome now, whatever it is, I don't even know why the juxta juxtaposition is necessary. If you're well, looking at something... And Oh, well, of a course, a juxtaposition well, what do you is mean necessary. You Otherwise, it's okay. Then let's get clarity on that. What yeah, when you say juxtaposition yeah, yeah. is possible? What do you what do you mean? The juxt what what are you talking about? Sure, um, I should be more specific here. Then, so um, that's the essence 
of what we're trying to do here. Because if you just uh, imagine if we erased um, the starting point of the argument and then just looked at the end point, the end point of the, uh, the trait equalization process would be, here's a chicken. Do you value a chicken? And then the person would say no. And then that's, uh, what have you done there? You haven't done no, anything. No, no, no. The point, In order for the, the argument to actually point, do anything. The, the, point is, if, the point is, if at the end of the trade equalization process, you say, here's a chicken, do you value the chicken? And the person says yes, whereas he's also said no. That entails a contradiction. Um, no, wait. But, but do you it, agree we're not with talking... that or no? Look, we're not talking about the mum anymore. So, of course, he doesn't value it. I'm not saying that you would right, have a contradiction wait, between wait, wait, the, the same proposition. Hold on. What I'm saying is, the, the, if there's nothing to juxtapose, then the, there's no point in the wait, argument. It doesn't wait, make any... why, why does... Wait, if there's, if there's nothing... Look, we start off with a chicken and a human. And then we just say that if this human... That if this human is now this same chicken, or they say that in the history is gone and there's nothing to juxtapose anymore. If there's nothing to juxtapose anymore, and now we just have this chicken, and the answer, even if there is nothing to juxtapose, if the answer is something other than, no, the chicken doesn't have value. If the say, he says the chicken does not have value, and then he says the chicken does have value. Regardless of there's a juxtaposition or not, all that's being said here is, if someone says the chicken does not have value and the chicken does have value, there's a contradiction. That entails a contradiction. And, and now, and what, I, and I agree one, that. One that's, second, just one second, one second, one second, one second. And the fact that there may, whether this is even, whether this is physically possible, whether this is, whether this there entails an Aristotelian problem, whether this entails a, whether this trade equalization process entails any of these issues, all that's being said is, I, I don't see the case made that it's logically impossible. Um, okay, are you, I, are you saying it's especially, yeah. agnostic I, I to see, the Aristotelian? I don't, I don't see, I don't see how it's logically impossible. So long as I don't see how it's logically impossible to conceive of this thing happening, to conceive of 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 this happening, I don't. I'm not convinced that it's a problem. It's it's incoherent for me to present uh, this conceptually. But the point is that all well, the point is is that. Once this is being done, when we end up with the chicken, if someone says a different answer, not if someone says the same answer, if someone says a different answer, that entails a contradiction. Like, do, do you I agree do. with that? Can we get an agreement on that? Sure, I agree with that. But the problem is, um, you, you seem to not be following exactly my objection. And what is that's your... fine. Maybe I, haven't, yeah, maybe I haven't been clear enough. I'll try and be clearer. So if someone just comes along and says, I value this chicken, I don't value this chicken, and that's literally a contradiction. And I'm I'm not going to yeah. turn around and say that somehow it's not a contradiction. That would be absurd. That's or if their view reduces, or if their view reduces to that, if their view ends up reducing to I value this chicken and I don't value this chicken, that would be a contradictory view, correct? But but no one would have. Yeah, that would be contradictory. Okay. But that would just okay. be absurd. Like you, you well, no one would ever that's, say that's that. All name the trait se seeks to show. At the end, that's what it reduces to. That's what well, it, ends it, up, it ends up. It fails. Fails. How? It, it, it fails at that How? because um, this is why the concept of juxtaposing it with something is important because you've, you have to have two objects, right? You have to at least have two objects. You have to have object A and object B, and you have to say, well, object, um, oh, it, it, in the argument itself, it says it's a uh, human and non human animal, right? So if you've got the non human animal, um, but you don't have the human animal anymore, more and he was let asking like do you this. value let me let me present it like this and maybe you you'd get a bit of clarity you seem to be hung up on this issue of the actual object has to actually change oh well, um, no it doesn't have to change we could have iterations in possible yeah worlds. we could well not even in possible worlds we could just have iterations we could like we could just just say iterations we have iterations of different different things yeah that's, and uh, we can move from one that's iteration absolutely to fine. another iteration fine. yeah sure yeah. So, so and, what you what what you've just done here, mm -hmm. you've said, I have your mom. I have um, a half chicken mom, for example. Let's not go through all the iterations. Uh, let's just do three. So, your mom, a half chicken mom, and a chicken. Yeah. And yeah. at at the point where it's a half chicken mom, I could say, well, it's still sort of um, 
still your mom in some regards and in, in, in some sense. Um, but then when it becomes the identical same actual same chicken and there's no distinction possible because we now uh, have changed the nominal identity as well as the, uh, mm -hmm. the what the identity is point what the nominal identity is pointing to but also the nominal identity itself it's like if we were programming uh, in a programming language and we had for example uh, an integer uh, called a and we assign that to one, and then we have an integer called b, mm -hmm. and we assign that to one. The same abstract concept of oneness is represented in both a and b. But then if we say, no, now we just have a equals one, and a equals one. Well, well now we've wait, just got wait, wait, a, wait. Not, and now we've just got one. That's not what's being presented now. What, what's, what's being presented now is, is just you're, you're – looking at different iterations all that's being presented now is you are looking at different iterations so you're looking at let's go with the, the chicken i like the chicken example so there's a chicken there's a half chicken half mom and there's a mom you start you say okay look you say do you value the chicken no do you value your mom yes okay now if we go if we look at the iteration that is your mom do you value your mom he says yes if we Look at the iteration that is the half chicken, half mom. He can give an answer, yes or no. That's fine. If we look at the iteration now that is your mom, do you value your mom? And if the person says no, then that entails a contradiction. That is all that's being said. Sure. The, 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 prob the problem is... Is there a problem um, with that? What I, just, what I just told you there, is there a problem with that? Yeah, because you lose the the identity of mumness. And if there is what still is, a nominal sense why of the identity of mumness, because you're just talking about a chicken at that point, you're talking about no, the same chicken. No, 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 that no, 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 you're no, saying no, that you don't no, value. No, we're not, we're not changing the chicken. We're not changing the chicken. The chick, look, no, the chicken nothing, stays the same. What we've done, what we've yeah, done, we've yeah. produced, we, 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 we've somehow, we've produced iterations of your mum turning gradually into a chicken. No, or no, into we this chicken. That's not not what was presented so that's not what was presented so look what was presented is we, there are possible iterations of different different states between whatever state it is of being a mom and whatever state it is of being a chicken sure there are possible different states of, of existence now all that's being asked it's not even it doesn't even need to be asked name the trait doesn't even need to make the case that these things are being trait equalized. It doesn't even need to make the case that anything's changing into anything. All that needs to be made is that there exists possible different iterations between these two creatures. And that if we just examine the differences between these two creatures in these possible iterations on one spectrum to the other, and we end up getting back to the first one, and we just give a different answer and value, it entails a contradiction. Yeah, obviously, what, is, what is the criticism of that? Obviously, in some sort of roundabout, yeah, if it's sort of trying to do this sort of thing, then obviously I understand what it's trying to do. What I'm saying is it's Wait, do, in a do you have a criticism way. of that? Does, 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 is there a problem with that? Yeah, sure there is. Okay, because, what is Because okay, name the trait in the way that it's typically used, you'll say, um, let's say no, with what with uh, what I just uh, presented. Uh, no, no, no. With what, yeah, yeah. What I'm, 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 I'm going to try uh, try and explain it. So the, the scenario we'd be talking about here is if someone said uh, you asked them to name trait and they said species, for example. So then we say, okay, we'll we'll turn your mum into a chicken. Or okay, and that's um, not what what I presented. What I presented would be just an present. iteration now. Like what I what see, I, remember now you're going back to changing it. So what I presented was something different. Okay, so you don't have can to you, can you go, the trade and changing your mom into into that. You can just say that yes. the, you can set it up as an iteration of possible states, and you can say, well, I just want you to examine. The oh yeah, so, so, sorry, so sorry, I, I was unclear in my language. What what I meant was, yeah, so we're gonna uh, do iterations of turning your mom uh, not into turning, chicken. No, I mean, no, every not turning, it, no, not every turning, iteration. No, no, okay, okay, not okay, not. Turning, There's not iterations turning. of we're creating new versions. between your mom and the chicken. And all that's being yeah, yeah, asked we, we is to create, examine we create, this state. Examine create, this possible state. That's all that's being asked. Being asked. And, to, and to, ask, okay, cool. to ask, does this have value? Yeah, cool. So there's basically like a line 
of beings being created, right? We're uh, not creating. Uh, it's are, are just you... all that's being done is not being created. It's just possible iterations between these two beings. Okay, well, even you, you, you're not granting that they're made hypothetically, so we're not creating beings there, hypothetically. There are there possible iterations between these two beings? Do possible Poss- iterations between these two beings? Are, are there possible iterations between a chicken and a human? So, logically so you're possible. Are there saying, logically possible you, iterations between a chicken and a human? So you ask me, are there possible iterations, but they can't be created? No, I mean, I'm not asking they're, if they're, they're possible iterations, but they can't be created. I'm just asking you if there if if there are poss- logically possible iterations between a chicken and a human. In other words, is it logically possible to have an iteration of something intermediate between a chicken and a human? Yeah, sure, but not not not, not if they can't be hypothetically created. No, I'm, because I'm they don't. Asking, if you're saying they can't hypothetically be created, then they. I'm not asking about the creation. I'm not asking about the creation. Yeah, asking but, about their creation. I'm just okay. I'm just saying that if it is the case, if there is the case that there are logically possible iterations between a human and a chicken, then there's nothing incoherent about saying, imagine one of these iterations and just does it have value? And then going back and say, now go back to the original iteration or now go back to the chicken or now go back to the human and ask, does it have value? And if the answer is, does it, it if the answer is something different it entails a contradiction that's all that's being said now i would really like to know what's incoherent about that yeah sure man um i, I think we're talking past each other to a certain extent i'm not disagreeing all right that so just you one, can... I, I just want to be clear what, the way i'm framing it now the way i'm, yeah, framing yeah, sure. it, I'm not talking about changing anything i'm not talking about trade equalizing i'm just talking about iterations i'm talking about there exist Ooh. logically possible iterations right Ooh, you, you you're talking about the, the trade equalizing no, I'm not. I'm not, process, I'm not I, talking, I'm, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about trade equalizing. I'm not talking about chain equalizing anything. I'm just okay. saying there are iterations. There are it, logically possible iterations between two beings. Yeah, I, I don't Do disagree with this. Uh, okay, I, good, I, good. good. I, so if there are I logically possible I, I think it's very iterations weird. between two beings, and so let's let and we're not going to go through all of them. So let's say let's make it simple. Let's go through three, right? So there is a chicken. There's a iteration there's a logically possible iteration but it's a half chicken half human and then there's a human right yeah sure and someone says do you value the chicken and he says no and says do you value the human person says yes and then he says okay you value this human yes you value this half do you value this half chicken half human yes do you value the chicken yes that entails a contradiction that's all that's being said is there a problem with what i just said said? uh no no i agree that that would entail a contradiction, but the problem okay. is the second you've it's, said, okay. do you yeah. value this chicken, um, mm-hmm. then you've just lost the, um, and, and if you're saying that we're, we're, we're going to normalize, we're going to equalize the nominal value as well. I'm not talking about equalizing nominal value. Wait, no, when said, no one talked about equalizing anything. Wait a minute, hold on. All that okay, was presented so. to you, no, that's no, none of that was being said. All that was being presented to yeah, you. don't have to run through it again, it again man. Uh, Okay. Uh, no, you don't need to run through it again, man. Like, I've, I'm very, very familiar. Value. Uh, Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, I don't think you have encountered. No, the no, I before. think you're, in, you're. I think you're injecting things from previous debates into this conversation. No one talked no. about nominal value. Mm, yeah, no, no, no. But this is what I'm trying to explain to you, dude. Um, Go ahead. I'm, I'm not sure. Are, are you familiar with the debate that I had with Bryn on? Um, I, 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 I've watched it, and that's why I think you're injecting things that that don't apply to what's being presented to you right now. Uh, I, I think you, I think what's like, happening. I think what's happening is we're missing. Perhaps you're missing a piece of my jigsaw puzzle. What I've got in my head right now, and it's not making sense. I'm, I'm why I'm invoking I'm what I've presented to you right now. With what I've presented to you right now. What is what is the criticism of coherence? Yeah, so um, you you started with being, you value it, you value it, you value it. Now you don't value it, or no, we, so, so you still value it despite it being uh, the chicken. Can I, now can that I you just said ask you, you to repeat it to me? What, what I've what I've presented to you? Can I ask you just so we make sure we're on the same page? Can I ask you can to ask repeat? You? Yeah, sure. Back, yeah, sure, man. So so we've got um, a woman or whoever, and um, then we've got an iteration of a half woman chicken. And then we've got a chicken, and the person says they value the human, they value the half um, human chicken, and they value the chicken. But they originally said they didn't value the chicken, and therefore they've presented themselves in a contradictory um, position. Um, 
the the problem is this is uh, if you ran name and trait on me and I was a carnist, I, I would never say that I value this chicken and I still value, uh, so, sorry, I don't value this chicken, yet I still value um, the exact same chicken because that would just be a contradiction. The, well, well, hold the, on. the objection but, well, that I have, the, the entire that objection, or well, the, the entire case. objection here, here comes merely from the fact that you're presenting me with the same object. You're, you're no longer presenting me with the object that I originally valued. There's nothing about the original object, which uh, it, it, the object which I originally valued was never there in the first place. So if you're presenting okay. iterations, that's fine. Well, hold on. But we're, in we're, getting, we're getting, I just need to keep it on topic right now because I, I understand where you want to go with it. I, I understand this is where you want to go and you want to say that, that uh, you want to tie it into the way the argument is used. But so just before we get to that, really clear. When I the case I just gave you with the human half human chicken and the chicken, all all I'm saying right now is if someone says I don't value the chicken, I value the human. I value the human. I value the chicken half human. I value the chicken. If we hold those values constant, that entails a contradiction. Is anything I just said right now? Is there anything wrong with what I just said right now? Is there anything incoherent with what I just said right now? I just want you to wipe your mind from everything that's everything that happened in the past with you in the debates. Forget about everything that's been happened with Bryn, with Isaac. Forget about all that, all that shit. Just with what I just told you right now, is there anything logically contradictory? Is there anything incoherent about it? Or is, it, is that coherent on your view and you agree with it? Is it just quiet for me? I hear you. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. So, yeah. So is, is there I anything wrong with what I just Yeah. Is there anything wrong with what I just said? Forget about like name the trade. Just forget yeah, yeah, about sure. name the trade. Forget yeah, about sure. name the trade. Forget about Bryn. Forget about Isaac. Forget about all that shit. Forget did, about did, did you not hear? Uh, how, how much did you? Oh, not I think hear I think you may have cut out. Yeah, yeah. Just repeat your answer. Is there anything wrong yeah, with what I? Yeah, sure. Hearing with what I said. So, so, so what you've just presented me with is something that I'm not dis going to disagree with. But the problem is that's divorced from the technical argument and how the argument is used. So you're presenting me with something different than name and trait. You're presenting me with the sort of, um, oh, this is some sort of idea of uh, this is what name and trait should really be. But it, what you present to me is not the implications of what actually happened with name and trait. Okay. So and that's I've the thing that I've got a problem with. Tell you that and not this, with this, this can be used in the same in the same way that name the trait is just as easily. This is just this is we can't and I'll tell you what. Very, uh, very easily. Very easy. it, we can go through any well, give me the classic classical you would like to get. I, I will just put it into an iteration state instead of a trade equalization state. Well, well look, um you can value any distinction between the start and the end, whatever it, it, I, you seem to get triggered when I say created or turned well, or not, any not, metamorphosizing yeah, I, 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 not, or yeah, impossible yeah, worlds. Well, or, well, there's, uh, there's, I, I there's a reason I'm avoiding. I don't that. care. There's I'm avoiding that. <laughs> there's, there's, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't care. Though I don't care how it gets there. There's, there's a start point and there's an end point. No, it, and, it's not even and a start I value and the end thing. point. There, there's not. I would. You don't even have to have it be a start and end point. All that there are are iterations in between these two things. That's all there are. There are so, iteration. There are logically possible iterations between the two things. Now, all I'm saying is that what I'm saying, and I want to be very. We, I can use the same name the trait argument with this framing, 
rather than a trade equalization process. I can do the same exact thing and achieve the same exact argu form of argumentation. So for example, right? If someone says, okay, I value a human because it's intelligent. And I say, okay, well, in this iteration, there exists a logical possible iteration of a non-intelligent human. Do you value this non-intelligent human? That's the That's... same cross issue that you seem to be getting hung up with. Um, sure, but I, I, I don't think that that's really very interesting. Like that, that's one aspect of name and trait you could uh, argue for, but that, that's not really, that's just marginal cases at that point that you no, were saying. No, I don't, there's, I don't, there's well, these I don't, people over no, here. I don't think it necessarily, I don't see how it entails being mar argument for marginal cases. Can, we, can we you can point out how that wouldn't is, just... Yeah, because all, all, all that's being shown at the end of the day, mar well, marginal cases doesn't seem to, doesn't seek to attempt to entail a contradiction if one would affirm and deny the same thing. Oh, it, 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 it literally does. And it does? Is that, is that true? Yeah, okay. Can pull up the where in argument marginal there. where in marginal cases is there is there a um is there a is there an attempt well, it, to fill a contradiction it doesn't it doesn't on? explicitly say on on pain of contradiction or some shit like then name the trait says but I just it I just want to hear how this quite, is how is this how is this marginal case well it, it quite literally is because marginal cases off the top of my head says something like um some marginal hu humans have moral status. Um, this was just one example. Uh, and let's, some... let's, this, one this, is, this is one example. I'm not, I'm not trying to, I understand, I, I, I understand why you think that this is marginal case based on the example I used, but I could use any example. I don't have to use something that like, that Peter, that uh, Peter Singer may use, uh, or I don't have to use something that may, you know, try to make it like marginal. It could be anything. It could be any trait that I can just, instead of saying trade equalize, I can just present it as some form of logically possible intermediary. And I can just ask- Sure, but the, 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 prob ask the problem is what, what, what you're doing here, here is what uh, Ask Yourself has replies to me in certain for, response forget videos. About uh, forget, wait, about forget about Isaac for a second, wait, just forget about him. Yeah, no, 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 but this is, him. dude, he, this is his argument. And he uh, responded to that saying that that's a subset trait equalization and that's a straw man of right, the trait. Right, like, listen, listen, okay. That's fine. Forget so, about so the name of trait argument. Listen, Isaac. you're talking the, to me The name of trait argument, you have to equalize about, all no, of the traits. No, no, forget about Isaac. I, listen, but you're, you're just saying something different. Of, I know there's a lot of history. The name of trait. Guys, but listen, 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 listen. Look, look, forget, forget about Isaac for a second. Forget about all this for a second. Okay, look, I can do... I can do the same thing Isaac is doing, the same thing. And all I need to say is, instead of trade equalization, all I can say is the logical possible intermediary. Okay? okay. Would you... Uh, my, now my question is, my question is, if I ran name the trait like that, if I just ran name the trait and I just said logically possible intermediary, would you have a problem with the way I'm running name the trait? The there's there's no sort of problem uh, in in what you're getting at now. The the, the problem is the fact that there uh, I would enter a contradiction because I would I, I would never assert that it has and hasn't got moral value because I'm no longer talking about the original thing in any way, shape, or form. And the original thing that I was talking about is is lost. So there's no juxtaposition, and I know that triggers you when I say the word well, juxtaposition. The, no, there's no. I don't. I, I just. Not. Or there wasn't all that and was being the, added. The, 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 problem is, well, the problem on. is, Avi, the problem is, Avi, that there's um, the, the, the way that you come to a contradiction is that the thing has to be the same. If yeah. you just subset yeah. trait equalize, so if you just say, so oh, why are you oh, going back to trait equalize? Please stop. Why? Why? Okay, listen, I, I'm just asking, listen, I'm asking you based on my framing of what I'm giving you. What I'm framing giving you, uh, there's there are logical possible intermediaries, and I'm just asking to analyze them and give a value judgment on them. And if someone says at the when we get back to the original, when someone says this X does and does not have value, 
That entails a contradiction. Now, is there any problem with the way I've presented this? Is there any contradiction in the way I present this? Is there anything incoherent in the way I presented this? I don't well, want I don't... you to go back to the way Name the Trade has been presented by Isaac or Bryn or anyone. I just want you to ask, answer it with the way I'm presenting it to you now. Do you have any problem well, with the uh, way I'm I've, presenting I've... it? Man, I've already answered you. Like, I don't want to get impatient on anything, no, but, but I just I, but already no, answered you. You've, 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 you've been, like, here's the thing. It's, what, I'll tell you what's irritating. When, when you try to answer me, you always seem to go back to Isaac in some way or the way no, man, Isaac no, is. No, 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 wait, wait. Just, just let me talk, man. Let me talk, man. I already confirmed about five or maybe six times now that what you're doing there, there's nothing wrong with what you're doing. But that's divorced from... Um, what name the trait is. So if you're, if we're saying, so let's not talk about name the trait, okay, fine, trait. we won't talk about name the trait then. We won't talk about name and trait, but what, we'll just talk about what you just did. That's fine. All right. But uh, you can't why, then say, why, okay, why, cool, why, then you've conceded. Why can't I, can I just say, well, no, why can't I just say that this is, no, you realize this is the same thing. It's just that I, all the difference is the framing of logical possible intermediaries instead of one thing changing to another. I can say name the trait, that well, that, that's exists not whether... within the logical possible intermediary. I can do the same. I can do the same exact Dude, thing. Dude, you don't seem to understand. That's not where the problem uh, comes in. I don't, I don't care problem, whether man. it's logical intermediate trees or whether there's a metamorphosis or whether well, it it's um, no, a like, possible like, worlds. I don't like care how. Care it in one case you said there was there was incoherent. In the other case you said it was coherent. So it seems like you do no, care. No, no, no. You're not understanding what I'm objecting to. And it, what are you um, objecting to? Start. Maybe I'm starting to get a bit impatient here because uh, it's, it's late. But um, but what you're saying here is uncontroversial. The problem is when you then put what you've said back into the context, because eventually we have to um, mm -hmm. marry this what you've been is saying. There an, is there a name problem? The trade, otherwise, why are we talking about name trade? marrying this with name of the trade? I could do the same exact yeah. thing that name the trade does. Can you differentiate this from name the trait? Can you make a differentiation between the way name the trait is done and how I'm doing it? Yeah, sure. So at the start of the process or what, whatever, we not the, a the name the trait, trait equalization process is a not process. A there's a start and there's... So, so, so if it's not a process, if it's not metamorphosis, if it's not multiple worlds of different beings, if it's not any of those things... I don't I understand what it is. So then if, if sure. you're denying me every explain. possible way of comprehending the name the trait, then you've denied me the possibility to understand the argument. So and the I, argument I can explain. I can explain it very, it's very simple. Look, when you, when there exists two different beings, okay? When there exists two different beings, there exists logically possible intermediaries between the beings. Now, all that's being asked is to examine the logically possible intermediaries and give value judgments. OK, sure. and if there is if there is a trait that is named, I can just say there is a trait within these logical possible intermediaries that goes from that. There is a trait that exists in a logical possible intermediary and does not exist in another logical possible intermediary. Does the value judgment change when we go when we look, when we examine, not even go from when we examine an intermediary that's logically possible that has the trait and we examine an intermediary that's logically possible that does not have the trait. Does the value judgment change? And if they say that is what gives it value, this trait, and then they say it changes and it does not give it value, that it says if they if they reduce to something that says it does give it value and does not give it value, that entails a contradiction. I am not seeing a difference between what I'm doing and what everyone else who's done name the trait is doing, and I don't see how this suffers from the problem that you seem to be getting hung up on. Okay, let let me spell it out. So sure. let's say. Sure. We do the transformation or not transformation, but whatever iter iteration. If we do the iteration, um, we create a million different iterations um, from a woman to a chicken. Mm -hmm. And the penultimate iteration is every molecule is identical apart from one, or, or every atom is identical apart from one atom. Then I can value that atom. Sure. But if we make it exactly the same, so not it's making it exactly all of the atoms. Making, okay, well then, that, exactly then, then you can't force. No, the wait, 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 wait. No, that's not what's being asked on my on my framing. That's not what's being asked on my framing. Look, what's being asked. Let's. What's being asked on my framing is simply to examine the original. Then all that's being said is now examine the original. 
does the value change? And if it does, that entails a contradiction. Is there anything wrong with what I've just said? Wait, so so we've got one one atom away from one atom being away. Remember, this the is chicken. a possible intermediary that's one atom away from the original. Yeah, so okay? I, va I value now, this one. Now they say I value the atom, okay? Now the difference is I value the atom, so yeah. there's value placed on the atom, and now I value the penultimate, and I don't value the original. Now, all I would say is that re-examine the original. Now examine the original. You're, you examine the penultimate intermediate. Now examine the original. Does the original have value? And if they say the original does have value, it entails a contradiction. Is there anything wrong with yeah, what no, I've just said? Yeah, no, but I'm not saying... anything wrong with what I've just said? Uh, of, of course not. And I've not been saying that the whole time. I'm just saying that now... How could I not we... accomplish... But name the trade. Wait, hold on. And how could I not accomplish the same Socratic method with name that name the trade does with this method? Because now, once we've done that last atom, right, we've now got doing, an object. We're not doing the last atom. On my view, there isn't anything. Uh, well, so, so we're still on the penultimate atom. So, we, so we're I, exa I you can this. examine it. You're examining the penultimate one. That's fine. You can say you examine it, but you can't say you, you're changing it. You're examining. Okay, so you're examining okay. What? Well, well, I'm not. I'm not interested in the language. I don't think it's no, so important. But you, you what, clearly. No, but you clearly. It seems it like you clearly are, and I'll tell you why. I can. I can explain no, why if you'd like. All right. Okay. You can. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, All right, so the reason, why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the reason it seems like you're interested in it is because you're trying to derive a problem of just juxtaposition. You're trying to derive that there is some entailment of a contradiction or breakage of a law of identity when this changing of something is happening. When this changing of something is happening that reduces to the same thing, there was no juxtaposition in the first place. That's why it seems like you really do care about these lang this language of changing this language of trade equalizing this change you make creating it to or going toward it seems like you do care about it because your entire critique of name the trade seems to hinge on this problem in which if we make it equal then well there's no juxtaposition and then it entails a breakage of the law of identity now all i'm saying is that the same socratic method of name the trait can be achieved without any of those things the same socratic method of name the trait can be achieved without to using the words change, without using the words equalizing, without using the words creating. All that needs to be is to point out that there exists logically possible intermediaries and one can examine all that one can see, examine the penultimate and then examine the original and ask for value judgment. That okay. doesn't seem to suffer hey, from the original this problems you brought and I can still accomplish the same Socratic method with name the trait. I'd like to see oh, how I can okay. see how I... Well, I understand that you think that I am seeing that as an important distinction, the, the way that we're arriving I there. But I, I really don't think it is important. And I think by you thinking that, you will miss, maybe misunderstanding my position. All I'm saying is, if we have, um, if we're left with an object, or if we're left with two objects, or we have to talk about objects, we can't, okay, iterations. We've got the original and then we've got an iteration. And the iteration, um, despite it being an iteration, is actually identical in every way um well no original. that's not what's being said either that's not what's being said okay so it's not identical it's not the the iterations i'm not saying the iterations are identical remember well, my, the, the, my, my well, one of them uh, uh, hold, hold on man hold on man you have to come back to the original mm -hmm. all in i some say way, is whether that's the original that's all that's being said i'm not saying examine the iteration i'm saying now examine yeah, but now the we're now yeah no okay I, yeah i perfectly understand that so um, I understand where, where we've been talking past each other. So now if we re-examine the original, we're now looking at a different object to the iterations that we were previously yes. uh, discussing. Yes. So Correct. now this... But it's not different okay, from it, the original. It's, like, it's still the original. Well, it, it's like, do you value your car? And you're like, yes. Well, look over here at someone else's car. Do you value that one? No. <laughs> like, it's something... Well, all that's being said is that if you go to the penultimate, right? I, yeah. If you go to the penultimate, yeah. and then you say all you, if you say, if you say to the original, I place no value on the original. I place value on the penultimate intermediate, and then you just ask re-examine -ex to examine the original. Yeah, but the original First hasn't changed. Sentence. 
So exactly. I wouldn't change exactly. my attitude. And then because some because it's this because in this Socratic method that I can employ the same Socratic method of name the trait, and people do end up contradicting themselves this way. They do. And, and if I, I were value to... the yep. I value the atom difference. So if I then reevaluate the original, yes. then I'm just yep. reevaluating the original. Yes, exactly. I'm not, exactly. I, I, but I'm not... all that's being yeah. said, all that's being said is if you re if you evaluate the original and give a different answer, there's a contradiction. Is there well, a problem? Not, yeah, there's not a problem okay, with that. So then, and and, and not, hold on. Okay, now that we've established it's not a, there's not a problem, you don't have a problem with that. Why can't I employ the same Socratic method that name the trait does with this framing of name the trait? Because you're you're not forcing a contradiction between my values because name I don't I'm not obligated to, force, to name the trait doesn't need to force a contradiction. It just sips well, and sips, well, sips well, it things does, and otherwise you're not no, you, you, the you've not been of, no, no, it wait, no, it doesn't. No, okay, yeah, no, but you, you can also be reduced not to absurdity all, or whatever. It doesn't claim that all not that, that all positions of a given thing are reduced to a contract. Um, or absurdity. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it can sift between or what we can see as absurdity, or you can claim as absurdity. It sifts between um, either a con. It can it can result in a contradiction. Or it can result in something that I may claim to be an absurdity, or it could result in something that's a non contradiction. All I'm saying is that if it, I can do the same sifting, the same exact sifting I can do here on, the, on this framing, I don't see a distinction between the ability to do this sifting between yeah, so, this so framing I'm, and the ability. Wait, let I'm, me finish. Ability, let me just finish. Let me go just, ahead. I don't see how I can't accomplish this sifting with my framing in the way I've just presented it with name the trade and the way it was originally presented and i would if you if you because we already agreed we already got concession that nothing i've said in this framing of name the trade nothing i've said is incoherent nothing i've said is contradictory nothing i've said is problematic on your view it seems to be the case that you seem to think i'm not going to get the same value out of this framing and i would like to know why i can't employ the same socratic method with this framing of name the trade and why the other okay. framing other... can be employed okay Hey, cool, man. Well, I think uh, I really don't want to be rude, but I just don't think you're understanding the critique that uh, I'm bringing here. I think because we're not disagreeing on anything and you're, we're just talking past each other, the actual core critique. of what, OK, what so let me just see on. if we're not disagreeing. So if our, so we do, do we don't disagree. I agree. I, I agree that we don't disagree on it, what the my framing of name, the trait that I've given you being. Uh, logically contradictory or anyway, or pro or incoherent in any way. Um, do we agree? Do we agree that I could employ this method, this framing of name the trade in this, and get the same Socratic value as name the trade has been employed? Uh, I, I'm not really sure what you're asking about that. Because so if, if you ask, agree that there seems to be a Socratic method to name the trade. Like so, for example, when someone says, "Do you, do you value a human? Do you value a chicken?" says yes no and then says okay well what's the what's the differentiator which if applied to that you know the, it, there seems to be a socratic value of of examining one's values when this, these things are invoked now i could do the same i could run the same name the trade i could run the same dialogue i could run the same socratic method and all i can say is instead of if applied to all i can say is if instead of trade equalized i can just say the trait is in this logically possible intermediary, and then it is not in this logical possible intermediary. Please give the value judgment. I, is there something that I'm lacking now in this value of a Socratic method that I somehow need to go back to this original Socratic method that was being done before? Well, well look, nothing you're saying here is controversial, but you just can't force a contradiction if the person How, doesn't and the other and the other because... and the original and the original name the trait and the original name the trait can force a contradiction how is that a symmetry break no, uh, uh, no, no, no one's gonna say i value a chicken i don't value wait, a chicken. wait wait uh, hold, hold on that's hold what on, I'm... hold on hold on wait you said nothing is controversial but you can't force a contradiction um, that's my question asked to you is what is the symmetry breaker what is the symmetry breaker between my framing of name the trait and the framing of name the trait that uses trait equalization. So now you answered, your answer was your view, your framing of name the trait can't force a contradiction. Are, do you take it to be the, your, the view, the case that the trait equalization version of name the trait can force a contradiction? If not, that's not a symmetry breaker. 
No, look, look, man. I, I think I'm I'm getting a bit tired, and so um, maybe I'm not following 100 percent what you're saying. But I, I I think it's such an easy thing to understand. I'm sort of a bit um, unsure why you're not uh, seeing what I'm seeing in my mind right now. So um, we're asking someone, do they value a chicken? They say no, they don't value the chicken. They say, okay, well, I'll take this human and we'll have multiple iterations until it gets to a chicken. Well, the point that it gets to a chicken, the point that it gets to the same chicken that we've just trait equalized to, is the point where you can say, well, I've no longer, um, there's no longer any resemblance of the object which I was originally valuing anymore. It's the original object has disappeared. It's no longer there. So, of course, I don't value it anymore. And so, of course, they're not going to con- contradict that different themselves. From how is no. that different? Wait, how is how is this different? How is that a symmetry breaker between the uh, the trade equalization framing of name of the trade? Does the trade the equalization trade. framing of name of the trade can that for how does that force a contradiction? Because it is in is impossible to force a contradiction under the the, the syllogism itself. Uh, like it, it, we need to look at the syllogism let, let itself. Just, let me just, just see let me that. just ask you: do, is, do you is it your view that the trade equalization framing of name the trade? can force a contradiction. Uh, let's get the name of the trade I, I just wanna, and I'll I just explain exactly what I mean. Saying, look, I asked you what, because I, I asked you what the symmetry breaker was between my, look, we've, you've already agreed that the, my framing of name the trade, you've, you've conceded just, that it sorry, does not Avi, have any just price, to facilitate, have... Just to facilitate what Foot Soldier said, he's asked for the uh, syllogism to be presented, so that's in general. Yeah, thanks, man. I'm just looking. All right. So is it your view that this syllogism um, forces a contradiction of all non-vegan views? Uh, no. no. Wait, hold on. Forces a contradiction of vegan views? No, of course not. So then it's not a symmetry, that's not a symmetry breaker between the trade equalization framing of name the trade and my framing of name the trade. So my question, my question again, my question again would be, since you've already admitted that there's nothing controversial in my framing and in the trade, my question is, on virtue of what do I lose any semantic value or do I lose any um, Socratic value with my framing of name the trade from the trade equalization framing and in the trade? Yeah, well, I just, uh, I just see it, uh, if you're asking me, about the argument, I'll just say it's an impotent argument because you're not. And you would, and you would anything. say that it's not. Wait, and so you would, so you would say it's an impotent argument, and you would say that it, the trade equalization is not an impotent argument. Uh, hold on, no, the trade equalization process itself is incoherent. Okay, but That's but the is thing it? An, I'm arguing but it, so wait, wait. Would you say it's imp- It's not impotent. So you would, would you say the trade equalization framing is not impotent? I'm not asking if it's coherent or not. You're saying that my framing is impotent. But the trade equalization uh, framing is not a bit uh, hold on. I think we're getting a bit muddled up here. Um, I, I want to be very clear on what I'm look asking. At... Look, do, do you understand what the question... Look, let me hear you repeat it back to me. What, what, what am I asking from you? Uh, at this point, I'm a bit confused what you're actually trying to okay. get I'll, me to say. I'll, okay. What, what... I'll, okay, so here's... Here, so since we... Okay, so since we agreed that my framing of name the trade is nothing controversial and this is not uh, contradictory it's not incoherent the question on the table is is there anything of value that's being lost now with my framing that was that was there before with the trade equalization framing is there something is, is there is something in the sense that i can't employ the same tactic i can't employ the same method i can't employ the same socratic method in a debate just by saying iteration instead of saying trade equalization is there some is there anything that i miss by having my framing that was there before with the trade equalization framing of name the trade um well can you repeat the question can you uh, just to make sure on the same just to make sure we're on the same page can you explain to me what the question is that's being asked yeah with your framing of how that process works which you went through is there anything uh, in the name trait deduction tree, which would, um, sh- sh- uh, which which would mean that that was incompatible with what you've just explained, and I would say yes, it's in the syllogism. The syllogism wait, doesn't. Wait, that's not that's not what the question was. So, 
the question is, is there anything of value? Is there any symmetry breaker? Is there anything of value that's being lost on my framing of, of name the trait that was there in the trade equalization name the trait? And if so, what is it? Um, anything lost in your example that was there in the original? My framing. In my well, framing of name the trait, yeah, is there anything the of value? Because look, you agree that my framing is coherent. You agree it doesn't have these problems that the trade equalization problems have. Now, you seem no. to be wanting to make a point no, that no, it's no, uh, in the way that the other one is not. So uh, my no, question no, is... No, is that's, not, that's not what I've been saying, man. I don't think you've understood what, what I've been what, saying. Okay. Been... So Mike, then could, let's have an answer to the question then. So now that you've agreed that my framing of name of the trait is coherent and it doesn't have these logical contradictions, my question is, is there anything that was of value in the trait equalization version of name of the trait that is not of value in the logically possible iteration framing of name of the trait? Yeah, yeah, dude, you're just not understanding what the critique is. You, you wait, don't understand wait. where the, wait, the, where the, the, where the incoherence comes yeah. from. No, listen. Okay. Yeah, I understand the question. Yeah. No, but uh, okay. So, let's just say so, for now they're identical. No, let's just say okay. for now they're identical. But you don't understand where the critique I'm not is. Appreciating uh, please, please. I don't. I, we were doing yeah, so well. I've just, we're I've just said. So well. I, I've just said. I'll, I'll repeat it again. Okay. I'll, I'll just repeat it again. I'll grant you for now that they're identical. Right, the name wait, trait wait, and wait. your portrayal. Well, of they're, that. Not, they're, not they're, they're not. They're not identical. Well, I, just, I, I don't care. I'll just, they, yeah, Grant for now that the, the effect of that, the effect is identical. However, mm -hmm. you are not understanding where we are targeted at. You don't, you, you seem, we you seem to be talking past each other on what the actual critique itself is. Okay. So if you're, is, is it the case that your critique is only applying to the trait equalization framing of name the trait? Um, no, my, <laughs> Dude, so that I, I'm again, I'm going to grant you that they're equivalent. Why is it and there's no problems in one that yes. aren't in. Why can't you just say yes or no? Look, is your critique is your critique only applicable to the trade equalization process of name the trade? To the trade equalization uh, of name the trade. Well, uh, I, I don't I don't know what to answer that with because it, the the whole critique is targeted. At the concept itself, the the whole argument itself, okay, the trait equalization so, is one part of that, which is also problematic. Sure. So yes, no, so, yes, no. Okay. I, I don't. Wait, what? Okay, look, look, look. If we have two framings of name of the trait, my framing, and we have the trait equalization framing, right? Yeah, dude, I've already got. My question is. Wanted you. Okay, good. Okay, good. Now the now the question is good. Good. Now the question is: Is there something of value that's being lost when I move from when I? If I were to take up the tr the logically possible iteration framing of name the trait versus the trait equalization framing of name the trait, is there something of value that's being lost? Can something not be done in a debate with my framing compared to the trait equalization framing? Uh, I, I've already answered a What's bunch the of answer? times. Uh, What's the they're, they're, they're equivalent. No, there's there's, there's no difference. It's the same. Okay, great, they're, they're, great. They're, they're okay. The same. So 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 I can just present. Name the trade. I can do the same things that are being done with name the trade. And all I need to do is modify it. Instead of saying the words trade equalizing, all I can say, all I need to do is say logically possible iteration. And I can do the same exact thing that name the trade is doing. And it has no problems on your view and it accomplishes the same value on your view. Is that correct? Uh, sure. You're still not understanding where my critique is, but, but yes, so far. Yeah. Great. So I don't, I don't, I don't need I don't need their critique then. Then I don't need the critique. Then I have everything do, I need. I have, you, you I have just, a framing of name the trait. I, I have everything I need then. I don't, no, because you I just don't, don't care understand about the, the critique, critique anymore because it's a, if the critique doesn't wait, wait, if the critique doesn't apply to my framing of name the trait, and you're admitting that I get all the same value of everything that name the trait grants on my framing of name the trait, then I have everything I need. I but, don't need but look, you, I don't you, you literally just That's don't understand what I need. I've been I don't objecting to the whole time. Listen, listen. You admitted, look, you admitted that your critique does not apply to my framing of name the trade. You also no, no, admitted hold, that no, I don't hold. hold, hold no, on. listen, let me finish. One no, second. Look, look, look. You, listen, we're listen. talking past each other. You, you've listen. shoehorned me into something which I'm not comfortable about, and I'm going to explain. I, I can so, see that. But, see that. but listen. You, you've just not understood where my critique lies, and I've repeated that a hundred times. I, 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 I don't okay. want to be rude. How about, I, how about listen. 
how about I, I how about I tell you where you your critique lies and you tell me if I'm following or not? Okay, so you're okay. you're trying to sure. you're, you're giving it. yeah. So you seem to be giving a critique on the trait equalization process of name the trait, in which if we were to equalize everything except for nominal values, then you can still say that they're not the same because the nominal the nominal difference is, could still be valued. And if mm. we change the nominal value, it would just be the same thing, and there would be no juxtaposition, which would be mm. a problem. Right. Am, am I am I tracking what you've been saying? Yeah, sure. Okay. And okay. so obviously no one would would say yeah. that they do and don't value that object yes. because it's yes. not yes. the same yes. object well, that well, they value. Some people, some people still could if they believe it or not. They're stupid. Still, yeah. And right. No, sure. There are stupid people. But th th I wouldn't say no one would say because people are stupid and people do say that. But it's important. But it's a useful tool then to point that out. But anyway, so we, we've agreed that's a useful tool. You have a problem of coherence on it. Whether that's, I don't that's, think it's a useful tool. I don't okay. think it's a useful tool. Well, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's clearly, if it, if it has sifted out some stupid people's contradictory views, then it has some value as a tool. Now, yeah, you, well, may better, people you may think there are better tools. Dude, better tools, dude, better tools. Dude, dude, slapping people in the face has some utility as well. Should I slap people in the face? Well, no, listen, it, 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 I don't, what? what? Where did that come from? Hold on, look. It, oh, because you've just said look, because the, it had, the tool, like, here's has, the, had, the had tool, some the utility tool, in the past, yeah, like, therefore it's good. The tool, the tool, the use of the tool is to sift between where the person's values are. And I, I've look when I've used name the trait, I found it useful because people don't like when it's people either fall into several different camps. People people can fall into the stupid camp where they just contradict themselves. It's useful to sift people into that camp. There are people who don't want to contradict themselves, and within that category, they can sift themselves into valuing certain things, and it's a useful tool to see where they value. Right. So. My, I am all I'm doing is I'm changing the framing such that it gets around all of these critiques that you have with the trade equalization process. I've created a framing of logical possible iterations. You've agreed that there's no problem with that, but now and now I've just asked you: Is there any value lost from yeah, the trade you've equalization not, you've process? Not, yeah. You've not done anything different or new. From That's the, what well, I really the only understood thing I've done different is I've retained the same value and name the trade while getting around all of your critiques. No, you haven't. You literally haven't. Look, let's okay, find so which critique? Which critique, that my framing, which critique does my framing? Which critique does my framing not get around? Okay. okay, your framing is functionally identical to name the trait, and this whole entire time, and it also avoids your critique, some... does it not? No, no, no. no look. Uh, wait, let's, wait let's a minute. Through. Hold on, hold on. Let's you agreed. This. You agreed. So, you agreed. Wait, wait. You agreed that there was nothing. Hold on, hold on. One second, foot soldier, wait. You you said in the first place, in the first case, you said that it broke the law of identity, that there was it was controversial, that it broke the law of identity, it was, it was incoherent, and then I presented my view, and my, you said my view is nothing controversial, and it didn't break the law of identity, anything, yeah. and now you're saying that you, it doesn't avoid your critique. Yeah, was, that was that not your critique? Because because the whole critique that I'm, I'm objecting to is the juxtaposition, and you are just like, oh, we don't juxtaposition, yeah, don't uh, we don't juxtapose don't them it. anymore. Exactly. Well, then so you're not doing anything. Avoid your then you're not, then my you're framing, not my argument. framing. Wait, 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 wait. My my framing doesn't need to change anything. Where where is the look? You've already agreed that there's that it retains the same value as the original name of the trade, and it also it also gets around this issue of law of identity. It gets around to the alleged issue of uh, incoherence. It gets around all of these critiques that you've been raising. So, look, I, I don't think I need anything else. What else do I need? But it, it hasn't got the same identity. It hasn't retained identity. The identity has been lost. Do you, how do you not understand that the identity has been lost? It's so simple, dude. Like, wait, wait, uh, are you on. trolling me now? <laughs> are you well, literally trolling I, I, I don't think I'm trolling you. Look. All that's all I'm trying to get at is the same. Look, this is a tool. This is just a tool that's being used to sift through certain views. It's being used to categorize views into contradictory or views that value a certain trait. That's that's the point of this this Socratic method. That's the point of this process. That's all that's being done, and it can get people to reflect on their values. Now, all I'm saying is I can present this name the trait in such a way that accomplishes the same thing. It accomplishes the same sifting into whether it's contradictory, it's not to force a contradiction, 
whether it's contradictory or to find out what trade it is that they're actually valuing. And I can present this in such a way that avoids all of the problems of alleged problems of identity that you're raising or incoherence that you're raising. And you've admitted that it has the same value in that sense. And you've admitted that it's, it, there's nothing controversial about it. So what's the problem what's with it? what you're doing? Yeah, so it has the same value. It has the same equivalent function, your example, to the original name and trait. Let's just say they're functionally identical. And it has the same impotence because you are not juxtapos uh, juxtaposing the identities of two things, one that I value and one that I don't. You're literally just presenting me with something which I don't value and asking me if I value it. Well, no, I don't value it because I already fucking told you I don't value it. So now what if you're just you gonna say, oh, point? I'm tell sorry, me what, again. Do you, what do you think, what do you think the point, are, are you, it seems to be that you think the original point of name the trade was to force a contradiction. Again, the well, point, it, that's not the point of name the trade. Well, what's the, the point of name the trade is to categorize, yeah. The point of name the trade is to categorize one's views. It's to get a better. You can just ask me. You can to either wait, wait. You're you asking me a question. I'm answering. The point yeah, yeah, of yeah, name the trade is to sift and categorize one's views into either contradictory or to have to understand what it is it is that they're actually valuing. And this process does it, it happens to be it does actually a pretty damn good job of doing that. It does a good job of when it doesn't force a contradiction. It does a very good job of getting to the bottom of what it is a person is valuing. Now, you brought up a, a tangential critique of it. That's fine. All I'm saying is I can just shift the framing to avoid those critiques with what I'm saying. Okay, so if you're saying that the only purpose of naming the trait is to ask people what they value, then you can just ask people what they value. And why have we got a syllogism and a dialogue yeah. flow trait so so the reason, I'll tell you. I'll answer. Yeah. So the the issue is when you just ask someone what they value, they'll give you an answer, and it doesn't have the same reflective value. They don't have the ability to just reflect on their values in the way. When if you present, actually present them with the semantics of name the trait, they actually get taken aback a bit. They'll start off the conversation, and I can tell you this because I've ran name the trait many many times on people. They'll start off the conversation and they'll say they value a certain thing, but when you Typically, and in my experience, very, very often, when you actually run the semantic, when you actually run the Socratic method of name the trade on them, they get taken back. They get taken back and they reflect on their values. It's not just a tool to figure out the values. It's a tool to figure out values and also to get the interlocutor to reflect on their values. And it does a damn good job of that. Now, all I'm saying is I can modify my framing of name the trade to get around the critiques, that, the tangential critiques that you're raising. And I don't think, think there's anything wrong with me doing that. And I could just run the same name, the trait, which has the same value, which seems to do a very good job at getting people to reflect on their values, to figure out what their values are and reflect on their values in a way that simply asking them what their values is not. And my framing seems to avoid your objections. Well, you, you've, you've now basically changed the tone of the conversation, not the tone, but the, the, the direction of the conversation. You're now essentially in a roundabout way saying well name the trait's good because it's a conversation starter and it sort of gets me to ask questions in a socratic way well i can go up to someone and say i've shat myself and that will start a conversation as well <laughs> it's like many things start conversations the point of the name and trait argument does a specific thing it's got a syllogism i'm looking at the syllogism it says a specific thing and i'm disagreeing with this specific thing and now you're presenting me with something else and I've not got a problem with that other thing that you're saying. If you're saying, oh, well, name the trait, it's a conversation can, starter or whatever. This, well, can, marginal you, cases, you marginal cases does all of the good thing. Do you think the same, do you think the same syllogism can't just be rewritten with just saying, with just saying logically possible, logically possible iterations? Do you think the same thing can't be done? Yeah, but I, I don't understand what that's useful for because you're at that point you're just asking people oh you're not vegan well, what do you value then and then why have we got a syllogism here okay, talking about I'll contradictions yeah, so the, and retaining yeah, so, the, so the reason the reason we have that is because first of all the reason we have that th this because a lot of people do end up contradicting themselves actually i would say by the way when most people try this in my experience when most people try it most people end up contradicting themselves the well, smarter then, people then the smarter, running yeah, on the people smarter who people have... well hold on that's fine and that's fine but that has value but that's useful 
that's a useful tool to show. It's a useful method to show that you have contradicted yourself. And that gets people to take a step back and they, hey, why did I just contradict myself there? And they wouldn't have- Yeah, but marginal cases is useful. And you marginal cases is, is, oh, okay. is useful. Well, and I'd say more, more useful. I would, I would actually argue, if we're just going to talk about the general gist of the argument, wait, then I'd argue- wait. Do, 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 let me let me talk, man. You, you've been on the offensive for for, for quite a while. Um, if we're going to talk about the general gist of the argument, then I feel that marginal cases does a better job because it's targeting the morally relevant abilities which these beings um, do or don't possess. And name the trait seems to be talking about traits, and you can name any trait, and yeah. it's more of it turns it into a game show and and guessing traits, yeah. and you can say, oh, this. Yeah specific thing it's and I'll come up the, with a whole stack of traits of and then the I win and I've now and, and then I've justified eating meat because I've come up no, with the trait not, which breaks right, name the trait or that okay. just all right the the use the utility the use of name the trait compared to marginal cases is it also has the ability it has a very good ability of both a figuring out what the other person values that is better than just asking them what they value in my experience and b also getting them to reflect on their values. And I have ran both, by the way, I've ran both arguments. I've ran marginal cases, I've ran name the trait, and I see a difference in value. I do see I do see in almost all cases that when I run name the trait, it does a better job of getting this done. That's just me. But all I'm saying, so this is why I value, this is why I have placed value in this or form of argument. Now, all I'm saying is, since I, I don't see a difference in the value that I'm getting out of this, You've agreed that there's no difference in value I'm getting out of this, and I see the value, and I see that your alleged objections are avoided by my framing. I think, I, I think it's not addressed by my framing. Yeah, it's not even. It doesn't even apply. It doesn't apply. My yeah, because you're talking about something different. Okay, I'm, that's fine. That's totally fine. I agree. And I'm it's granting you that. It, uh, I'm okay, great. Granting you that's all of great. that. If, if you're just talking that's about great. having a conversation with someone, then f feel free go forth and have a conversation. Like that, that, there's no, nothing controversial not, no, no, about no, no, you no, no, having no, no, a conversation. No, that's not. That's no. That's 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 being that's being very disingenuous. It's 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 a very it's a systematic it's a systematic Socratic method that's being used in a debate, and it does a good it does a very good job of figuring out what someone's views are, and it does a very good job of getting people to reflect on their views. It's not just to having a conversation. That's not. That's very disingenuous. I don't know why you're saying that. It's, okay. No one well, would look. I, at, no, one would said, look no, no. People don't. People don't. When they understand name the trait, they don't say, "Oh, well, that's just a conversation." Well, if I just said, if you ran name and trait, me, and I just said, "Oh, well, I value, um, or I, I don't value um, anything that's not part of a species capable of sapiens, for example." Um, then that's just the standard de facto Carney's position. Like, what are you getting from name trait out of that? Yeah. So you can. What you're getting is you can you can get them to bite the bullet on placing intrinsic value on certain things, and then you can get a reductio out of that. You like so what? You've gotten, what the you've, gotten, you've gotten. You've categorized. You've categorized the view. You've been able to figure. You've been able to pinpoint exactly what it is they value, and now it leaves you. For the ability to give hypothetical examples where you can employ that value and see if they're going to bite the bullet on all sorts of things. So run and pass me and we'll see if you can force me into a contradiction. Well, no, no. That, see, that or, wasn't or, the point of either framing of or, or absurdity. Yeah. So, so, or, yeah. So one can say when they, they look at that, that's the general gist of what is being tried to do. Sure. So one can take, one can take that value, one can take that value and place it into a hypothetical and try to demonstrate absurdity. Sure. So, that, so what I've just gotten, so what I've just gotten is I've gotten I've gotten clarity on what the view is. I've gotten I've been able to categorize it. I've been able to sift whether it's contradictory or whether it's a specific value of something. I've been able to do that very precisely in a way that I wouldn't have been able to do that by simply asking the question. Well, that, that's just the standard I, de facto uh, de facto Carnes position that they don't now, value creatures. And now, yeah. well, and now I can use, and now I can take that value, and I can come up with hypotheticals that can illustrate reductios. So, for okay, example, ahead, if they say, yeah, sure. So, for example, if they say they value the human species, I can say, well, what if there was a, a, a non-human race and they were very intelligent or sentient, and they yeah, were, that, they that's, were... A, that's not my trait, man. My trait was 
um, belonging to a species capable of. Say, what, what is the what is the what is the trait? Belonging to a species capable of. Capable of sentience. Sapience, or just intelligence, or, or uh, basically like um, sapience. You can define it in different ways, but basically like human-like intelligence or close to. Yeah. So that so the what the reductio there is something we call shell morality. So. Basically, okay, if you were to take, yeah, so the, so if you were to look at a mentally, mentally handicapped person, and the mentally handicapped yeah. person, you would say that they don't have sapience. Yeah, they, they, belong, they belong to a species. To a species. Oh, I get it. I get it. I'm, I'm tracking. They belong to a species. They belong to a species capable of sapience. People don't. People really are very, very uncomfortable. I will allege this. People are very uncomfortable saying that the mentally handicapped person doesn't have intrinsic value. They only have value in virtue of them being surrounded by other humans that have potential for sapience. Yeah, sure. They want to be. They want to say on them. It seems like a very, very unpleasant, unpalatable view to say that this mentally handicapped person doesn't have any intrinsic value, mm. and the only value they have is their surroundings. Mm. People are very uncomfortable, and that's so. We there's a coin for that. We've coined it. It's called a shell morality position. That the value it doesn't come from intrinsic in these intrin people intrinsically. It just comes from their surroundings, their shell. Yeah, but I think, I think more uh, to still man the shell um, position mm -hmm. would be um, if I was to transport um, a consciousness into a non-human animal. But the problem is if the non-human... Wait, wait, before um, we get to consciousness, hold on, hold on. Before we get, we, we'll get there. Before we get to consciousness, do you understand, are we on the same page? Do you understand why if someone just says, I value, the trait is I value someone, a, a being which is a member of a species capable of sentience, sapience. Why mm -hmm. that runs into a reductio? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. I don't. Uh, okay. That it's not reductio that I find potent. It, it's Why? not really because what you're saying is, uh, um, if we transpose, or uh, let, let's still man it here. So let's well, here's transpose. What I would say. Here's what I would say before. Here's what I would say. I would say, look, if if all of the if all the surrounding humans from this mentally handicapped human didn't exist. Right. If they all just, you know, that my fingers snapped and they stopped existing. Is it okay to torture this human infinitely? Is it okay is to it torture okay? the mentally handicapped human infinitely now? Because now it no longer is part of a species that is capable of sentience. Yeah, and uh, uh, Carnage's position would be like, well, if it is just a, 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 a person who is mentally retarded to the point of an animal. And it's not part of the human race. It, like we transported his no, consciousness. No, they're part into of that. No, no, pig, they're part of. They're, they are part of the human race. No, don't. Yeah, well, the human. Back. The human race were previous. It's, it's a human. It's sleep. a human. It's a mentally handicapped human. And now mm -hmm. the now, only thing we've done, we only thing we've done, and I can present this as an iteration. Now there's an iteration of these worlds where this human is this mentally handicapped human is now is not in the case where they're surrounded by other humans that are sapient. So now yeah, that they and, now and, have and the only thing you done then well the only thing you've done is just presented a species which is not sapient right a new uh, a new species or one that didn't previously exist or uh you, but you're just labeling it as human so people will then like shudder well but no actually well, no, we, you, you might I'm, as no, well have just I'm said not, no 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 all i'm saying all I'm, no it's this look all i'm saying is all i'm saying is that the other surrounding members of the same species not there i'm not calling a non-human a human I'm not. I'm saying that this is something you agree is a human. You agree it's a there's a mentally handicapped human, and I'm saying all the surrounding members of the same species are not there. Now yeah, sure. it is the case that you agree it's a human, and you agree that it is not a member of the species that is capable of sapience. Now most yeah. people yeah. would not be okay with just torturing this being. Well, there there is, there is no other humans. So we're using so the word human okay. here. So when we, 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 we could we could use the word we could use the word pig or goat or cow because the word human has lost meaning because there are no other. Oh really? So so wait. So if okay is now most so oh that's a whole different claim then. Okay. So look. So if it was the case that we had a mentally handicapped human and then 
all the other humans vanish, the mentally handicapped human would not be a human anymore. Is that your? No, it's still be a human, but it just wouldn't. The, okay, the, the word human okay, wouldn't wait. really have much value anymore because we hu other humans wouldn't be around. So it would be the same as presenting. Okay, what what is it that we mean when we say a human? I mean, what what, yeah, what do you mean we, we say you the just, word human? When, when we say human, we mean we, we we mean the sapien ape. But if the human ape is, is a sapien, defined as a sapien, it, ape, that's the definition. Pre, so, right, pre, right, 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 right. yeah, yes, it is. It is. Oh. We're we're, we're so homo sapiens. So if that was the definition, you wouldn't consider the mentally literally. handicapped humans humans then. It's, no, no, it's quite if, literally. Listen, the definition. listen, that entails a contradiction of what you said. Listen, if if that was the definition, if that was the definition, you wouldn't view any of the non-sapient humans as human. So clearly there's more to the definition than that. Well, they belong to the species of Homo sapiens. But uh, if, you're, if you're saying that now... And you also, created... said, you, also said, you also said that if all the other humans disappeared, it would still be a human. It's just human lost meaning. So clearly that's not the, the extent of your definition either. Or that's, that would entail a contradiction. Uh, the... Uh, I, I don't. I don't really see where you're going here. I think it's quite controversial to say that if you presented me with a being who was the only member of a species that wasn't um, wasn't sapient, and you're now asking me, is it okay to kill that one being, um, and I'm of a different species because I can't observe being a human because there are no other humans, then it would be functionally equivalent yeah. um, to sure. me observing okay. a pig. Okay. Sure. And as a carnist, I wouldn't give a fuck. But okay. I do go fuck now, with vegan, but I'm, now, I'm playing, now, obviously most, playing. Now, I've, I've ran this on Car I've ran this on Carnus, and when I, this is not the first time I've presented this, and this is not my experience, because when I tell them about a human, which will you agree a is a human? human? Yes, a human. You're, you're, you're well, just, like, it's because however you define a human, because... however, you defining, however you define a human, you agreed that this mentally handicapped human is a human. Now, but you agree no more... that if... Oh, there's no, there's no, no, there's no other humans. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Now you agreed that if all the other humans disappeared, that this human would still be a human. Now I am positing, I am positing that this mentally handicapped human, most, if we had the view that as soon as these other humans disappeared, it would be okay to start torturing this mentally handicapped human or an infinite amount of these mentally handicapped humans, for that matter, because there are no sapient humans around. Most people, this infinite torture, most people would be horrified by it. I think. Yeah, and dude, I'm I'm vegan, so I'm horrified with the animal holocaust industry. So I would be uh, horrified. Most with non vegans would be, most non vegans would be horrified by it. Well, they're just stupid, <laughs> and that's why I'm okay. vegan. Well, and well then they're either not. way, either way, either way, if most non vegans would be horrified by it, then this has a reductio. Well, no, not really. Well, sure. Maybe if, an appeal if, to well, what is, well, people if, who I don't know what I don't know what else would be, or I don't know what else would be other than contradiction. I don't know what else would be a reductio than to a, for unethical grounds than to place one's view at odds to a point where with the majority of people would just look in horror at. Well, then I don't you, know what better did, reductio well, I can well, get. Dude, My job is done. Dude, job is done. Well, well, dude, you've just rendered veganism. Um, you, you've reduced veganism to absurdity because most people stand at odds with veganism. Wait, so what? there you go. Veganism is. Wait, what? No, I, all I'm saying is the logical extent of a person's values. It's you're, I don't think you're you're following. Look, it's all I'm saying is that when we get to the bottom, remember this whole conversation started because the purpose of the utility of name the trait. We, we used name the trait to find what it is that someone is valuing. We showed the logical extent that what someone is valuing, what someone is valuing, has a logical extension in which it would draw everyone else to look at their view in horror that has value because it shows that it shows a reductio it shows a reductio better than what anything else i could it shows a, people would look at that in horror far more i mean what are you saying that people far people would look at just what that shows and they would they would just look at horror at it now yeah, i don't know i, I look in horror I can get. Dude, dude i look in horror at the animal holocaust industry and people who, but but yes, but, but thing, non vegans, is, the non -vegans reason, would look at non vegans would look at horror in this. Non vegans would look at horror at the at the logical extent of this of this value. Yeah, only when they, they didn't understand what this entailed. This is literally yes, equivalent exactly. to when you're they presenting do, me when with they a pig. Do understand exactly. That's the point. When once they you're understand presenting me with a pig. Entailed, yeah, when they understand what it entailed, that's the point. When they understand what it entails, 
they look at it in horror. No, when they, if they understand that it entails presenting them with a pig, then they're okay with it because that's the de facto. Oh no, they're less. They're less so. No, no, they're they're oh, maybe no, okay no, with dude, it. Dude, dude, stop. Less, so, wait, 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 dude, less, dude, less, dude, dude, literally, less, you're you're literally just saying, they're are you okay with less, stabbing less, animals to death? You're saying, are they okay with stabbing animals to death? And they say, yes, yes, sure, sure, yes, yes, I am. And the purpose of this, yeah, I agree. And the purpose of this is to show that a view that says that ends up this entailing something that they find horrifying gets them to reflect and it may not get them to go vegan but it gets them to reflect on their views in such a way that makes it more likely it seems to make it more likely for them to go vegan or to go in that direction but the only reason why you think that it's horrific is because we're hanging on to the emotional connection to the word human but if there were no other humans it would be like presenting me with a species of animal that wasn't sapient like a pig i don't see how that matters well, it does. It completely matters. You're literally it gets them to. It gets them also. No, it, it it gets them. By the way, I don't even think that's true. It gets them to reflect on their values, and then they can see. Well, maybe it's not that I valued. I just valued human, and that's the, that's what I happened to me. I mean, I thought at when at first that I just valued a human, and when I was had name the trait run on me, what ended up happening was I reflected on my values, and I ended up concluding that maybe I really don't value intra- human this human thing intrinsically. And I think that's happening well, to other people as well. Yeah. I don't know what, well, I, don't know what I, don't, I don't know where this assertion is coming from. That's only because of this emotional connection to the word human. Maybe, or maybe it starts that way, but it seems to it seems to get to a point where they are taken aback. They're reflective on their values, and at least some people end up realizing. Well, maybe it's not that I just intrinsically value human. Maybe I value other things. Well, I just think. It's impotent in that regard with the reductio. It's impotent if you try and force a contradiction. And marginal case is a, nope, is a more useful true. argument. They're my critiques. Okay. If you don't write right, those critiques. Well this, well, this wasn't, okay. So I don't, if, I'd like to see, if, look, the only way I can determine on any objective level if marginal case is a more useful argument would be through some form of a study. You don't have that study. I don't have that study. We would both be speculating at that point. I don't have a problem with the argument for marginal cases. I don't have a problem with name the tr- with the framing of name the trait that I presented. And it seems like you don't either. It seems like any 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 there's no objective way for you to show that it's impotent other than for you to speculate. Um, the only way we could show one is more useful than the other in terms of by metric of convert conversion is to run a study. So all that you have presented in terms of saying impotence is speculation. All that I I'm not going to present any case to say it's more it's more useful other than my own anecdotes. So it would just be anecdotes against anecdotes. And I at this point, it seems like I've maintained the value on your admission. I've maintained the value from name the trait. I think it does have value. I've experienced it having value, and I don't have data, but I do. I in my experience debating a lot of people, it seems to have a lot of use, and it seems to be the case. You agree that it's the case that you're. My your criticisms of my framing and name of the trade don't apply. So I think my job is well, done. Well, no, well, job well, no. Done. It, you, your criticisms don't address um, because you, you are unable to force a contradiction. That, out of... Okay, wait, wait, wait. And and the original name of the trade was able to force a contradiction. Well, uh, no, I'm I'm saying that you can't. I'm, I'm saying it's impotent. Well, that, okay, wait, wait, wait. So so. If you're saying the original name of the trait was enabled to force contradiction, my framing of the name of the trait was enabled to force contradiction, then is that a symmetry breaker? Well, no, no, I'm saying they're both unable to force it. Okay. You, you that can wasn't just the point, assert though. a contradiction. That wasn't the point. No one, no one is saying name the trait is, is presented as we can force a contradiction on your view. Yeah, you can force a contradiction or reduce absurdity. We can force contradiction or reduce absurdity. Okay, so is there a diff- now is there a differentiator in my ability to force a contradiction or reduce to absurdity between my framing and the original framing? Uh, I've agreed they're functionally the, the same. Okay. Great, and they, and does my and you've agreed, apart, apart, apart you've, from you've agreed that my framing and you've agreed and you've agreed that my framing avoids your your criticisms. With respect to law of identity, with respect to logical contradiction, with respect to incoherence. So, I think. No, 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 no wait, I, wait. No, the law of, ident- law of identity stuff is, is if you're trying to force contradiction, and that's exactly what the syllogism right, is so doing. I think, I think but if you don't I, care I, about. I think, yeah, at this point, I think you've just missed what the 
what the point of both framings of name the trade were. Like it, it, the point was not to force the point. No one is claiming. I'm not aware of anyone claiming that name the trade forces is, is capable of forcing a contradiction on all non-vegan views. It's going to someone and say, well, I will force your view to a contradiction. That's just not what it is. Okay. Well, well it says right here in a deduction tree, it's assumed okay. that if all traits are true of one object are equalized to uh, those true of another, that any traits remaining after equalization are processed by both objects, consider the image below. If all traits true of a given human switch to match those true of the non-human animal, A, B, and D would be retained in the human, thereby allowing us to infer that the given non-human animal already possesses these traits. So it's literally that doesn't, juxtaposing that doesn't, two that objects. Doesn't mean, that doesn't mean it entails a contradiction on all non-vegan views. Where's the entailment to that? Yeah, I'm not saying it. I'm so, not saying it does, but are so, you are you great. not willing so to then, concede? Wait, then that? why did you say that it's? It, then why did you say that they're both? Why did you imply that the point of name the trait of both framings was to force a contradiction? Well, read the. First premise of That's the not, deduction tree. If your if your view affirms a given human is trait equalizable to a given non-human animal whilst retaining more value, then your view can only deny the given non-human animal has yeah, more value. You notice of... that there's an if clause there, right? Yeah. Or that, if your view, that if, if someone doesn't that, have that view, it doesn't affirm a contradiction, right? Yeah, sure. But then the argument's empty. Okay. Tempered. That right, so then it means that name the trait doesn't force a contradiction on all views, all non-vegan views, right? I mean, you you understand? That. Yeah, sure. I didn't say that it has. So then, where's to the force a contradiction? That name the trait is attempting to force a contradiction on all the views coming from. Yeah, no, I'm not saying that on all views. I'm saying that right. either you force a contradiction, mm -hmm. or you reduce me to absurdity. There are no other outcomes okay. uh, of right. Of name the trait that's in the right. in, so in what's, the, the so what's so what's the what so what's the different so oh, great so what's what's the problem with what I'm doing? Well, you've just avoided my criticism of the law of yeah. identity stuff, sounds which is great. fine. Yeah. We don't sounds have to great to me, buddy, my dude. That sounds like I that sounds like I avoided your criticisms. That's better. Yeah, so so you can't so you can't reduce me to well, a wait, wait, so you can only wait, wait, hold on, wait. If does my avoiding your criticism somehow make my framing of name the trait lose value in this ability to either sift to contradiction or to absurdity in the way that the original name the trait did? Yeah, yeah. Look, the the whole first premise yes, is like well, I'll just read. Okay, so what value did the trait equalization framing of name the trait have to reduce to either contradiction or absurdity that the that the logically possible iterations that does not. Uh, you, you kind of manage. What, what value, what way for which one can reduce one to a contradiction or absurdity do the trait equalization framing of name the trait have? And the framing that I have presented you of name the trait does not have. Well, if you, if you want to get me on a contradiction, then I could just say I value these aspects. No, that's not an answer to the question. So the question was, Again, we've pointed out that my framing of name the trait avoids your criticisms. And I said, that's great. That's great. It sounds like I have a great frame. Now, you said, well, because of this framing, because of this avoiding the criticisms, you can't, you can't do this thing that you're accomplishing to do. Or it seems to be that you have a less of an ability to do this thing that you're accomplishing to do. So my question to that is, what is the virtues that one can do this on the trade equalization framing that lack that are not there on my framing for which one would have an easier time doing this on the trade equalization framing than for my framing that's the question on the table Uh, did, did you hear me? No, I didn't. Oh, sorry, I'm fucking tired. I didn't press the button properly. Um, yeah, so basically what's happened is um, what you've done is by just being agnostic to my core critique of the law of identity, you've just chopped off one of the legs of the uh, dialogue flow. So, so you now like made the argument a bit more impotent 
And then so no, you can only how, reduce wait, how does it make it more, how does it make it so okay so if you're saying it, it's making it more impotent then the question is on in which way in virtue of what is it is it not accomplishing because you've already agreed that it avoids your criticisms and there's nothing controversial and it doesn't avoid its problems now in virtue of what in virtue of what is it less potent to accomplish the goal of sifting between contradiction and absurdity in the way the trait equalization process did have well, sure. Like, if I just say I value this object, but I don't value that one, and then you trade equalize two objects, and you can't force contradiction. So that's like the core. Well, now you're saying it can't do that. That's no. That no. Again, the, let's track the flow of the conversation. So you sure. seem to be saying because I changed the framing that I am lacking something that the original trade equalization framing had, right? No, no, I'm saying that the original trait equalization framing is broken. You haven't counted, you haven't corrected that. Both your framing and the original name of the trait do okay. not um, uh, allow for that contradiction to happen. If I say I value this okay. object, I don't value that object, you trait equalize the two objects, then you can't point to a contradiction. The argument okay. is impotent. So we've already in that agreed. Regard, and that's we've, the already, word we've already we've already agreed. We've already agreed that the purpose of name the trade wasn't to force a contradiction. It was to sift between contradiction and absurdity. Okay. Yeah, but now, then you've just you've, chopped off the we've, ability we've if I say all I've done, these all I've done, all I've done is I've changed the word trait equalization to logically possible iteration. That's all I that's literally all I've done. All I've done all is I've, I've changed the framing from trait equalization to logically possible iteration. Yeah, and now cool. I've just said on this Wait. framing, on this framing You've agreed that everything that you've brought in terms of the criticism doesn't uh, apply. It avoids the, all these criticisms. That's great. Now so you haven't question, addressed the criticism. The question is, yeah, I don't need to doesn't... if it avoids it. I don't need to address the criticisms if it avoids it. We that's the whole point do, of the avoidance. That... Why do I need to address your criticisms? Why do I need oh, to address it, your criticism? criticism? It does. It literally applies. You don't understand the critique, dude, oh, okay. in that oh, case, then. So, let, so let me explain. My, my let, framing let explain. logically explain. contradicts itself. My framing is incoherent. My framing violates the law of identity. Yeah, no, let me explain. I point to an object and say, I value this object. I point to another object. I say, I do not value this object. You then, with the name, the trait, thing or your iterations or whatever you want to do you equalize them or you try and point out a contradiction and this whole pointing out contradiction thing you can't do that no i because I, we already so we already grown in circles so we already agreed that the point was not to force a contradiction it was to sift between contradiction it was to sift between contradiction and to deduce that there's some value there and to try to get that into an absurdity typically that's what's done so it, we already so okay. you say you simply saying that both views can't get a contradiction. You're not not number one. That's not a symmetry breaker. Number two, uh, we already agreed that that's not the point of name the trade. So I'll I'll just ask again. No, that, that what, literally what criticism? Is what the... criti What? No, it's not. We agreed. It's the point of the argument. No, it's not. The point of the well, argument is not to show all non-vegan views entail a contradiction. Uh, I didn't it's, say no, that. No, it's was. not. It's I'm, I'm sorry. It's really not. No one presented it. No one. Who did, did, did you're straw manning what I've said? You're straw manning what I said. Okay. Let me explain. Okay. The the dialogue flow tree um sifts you into either contradiction or absurdity. Mm -hmm. We agree on that. Right. you if you don't address my law of identity critique, you can't do, do the contradiction. You can only do why the absurdity. I, why can't bit. I do why can't I do the contradiction? Here, it's very easy. Very easy for me to do the contradiction. Ready? We'll, we'll try Same it. exact thing. Ready. Very easy. But, Okay. I value okay. this chicken, object and not that one. Half Go. Chicken, half chicken, human. Value human. Yes. Value chicken. No. Value human. Yes. Value chicken, half human. Yes. Value chicken. Yes. Contradiction. I've shown the yeah, contradiction. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't say all that. I've, and all I've I done say... is I've avoided using the word trade equalization. It's the same. I've done the same, yeah. same thing. Yeah. yeah, but that's impotent because I wouldn't value the same chicken that I just didn't value. Well, apparently some people do. Well, that's but the, the point is, but that's but that's again, that's fine. That's not the point. The point, if someone wouldn't wouldn't fall into a contradiction, that's okay. I can get them to fall into an absurdity. That's fine. I'm okay. I can that I've done the job. My job of sifting th through contradiction versus absurdity is done all the same. Okay, so it's sort of a bit sort of meaningless. Then the whole core argument of name trait seems to be meaningless. 
it no, just seems to be sifting through, no. sifting through absurdity versus contradiction is not. I don't think that's meaningless. I think that's very meaningful. Or, or, like that, that would literally just be someone saying that they do and don't value the same chicken. And I don't really think like any person with a sound intellect. You could, could make say you that. could make the same. Listen, everything you're saying now, you could make of the same trade e- of the trade equalization framing. You can say, well, look, if someone just says that it's now this chicken, then why? Oh, clearly, I'm not going to contradict myself. I'm not going to say, well, now that the being is the chicken, I'm not going to say it's it's it, I value and not value it. I don't see what's different here. Why you can make the same criticism of the original framing? Yeah, but why would I ever value the chicken? When you've just mm-hmm. replaced it with the chicken, and the thing that I valued would, previously, yeah. why would I? Why there? would I ever? Why would I ever value the chicken when? Why would I ever value the chicken when it's the, whatever was before? It's just whatever is it's just trade equalized, and the history is trade equalized, and it's just the same thing. Why would I ever fall into the contradiction? I can make the same criticism to the trade equalization in the trade. It's not a symmetry breaker. So what yeah, a value say, is that? I, I didn't say it was. Like, you, okay, you, great. Then what? Then what a value is? Your what entire value new is, framing. No, because then what your, a value your new is, framing what a value is just redundant. What, because I agree is, that they're functionally identical. The way the, is it redundant in the way that the, that the old framing isn't? Is there any... No, sim- I, I'm just saying, look, that they're, they're functionally identical. Okay, yeah, like, I don't understand what you think. I... It, okay, great. So they're functionally identical and they avoid your... Your criticism don't apply to it. Yeah, they don't... They, don't they, they can't make me contradict myself unless I literally just outright no one um, is talk- Why randomly you say that I do and don't value. Why do you keep saying make you contradict? No one is saying that this is the purpose of name of trade is to make you contradict yourself. Again, we've again we've gone on this multiple times. The purpose is to sift through contradiction or something that's non-contradiction. And if it's non-contradiction, to attempt to show an absurd. That is the point of name the trade. Now, I have presented to you a framing of name the trade that you have agreed your criticisms don't apply to, and you've also agreed has the same functionality. I think my job is done. I think- yeah, I, th- I think it accomplishes everything it... between contradiction and absurdity, it's... just the same as, as what was presented before does, and it avoids it. It avoids, and your criticisms don't apply to it. So, so... yeah, well, if that is the case, I think the syllogism of name the trait is, is fairly redundant. Um, and I think if that is the case, then Bryn doesn't understand name the trait. In, or it, it, if you are understand, we, why are then Bryn doesn't. All right, listen. Be, because listen. we were arguing a totally different side of. <sighs> You're we were arguing the argument. Right listen, listen, listen. Look, we've uh, look. We've been on this for for longer than I wanted to be. But look, I've yeah, I've presented yeah, to you a framing. I've presented to you a framing of name the trade. On literally all that was done here. All that was done is I changed a few words. I just said I cha- I'm changing trade equalization to lo- a logical possible iteration. Yeah, you don't even need to do that. I, I accept them both being and, functionally identical. And, okay. And then, I, and then we agreed that all I did when I changed those few words, all I did was frame it in a way that your criticisms don't apply to it. It retains the same value of shifting between contradiction and absurdity. It retains that same value, and it avoids all of your criticisms. What is the problem with it? What is? Well, you're just not addressing my criticism. What is what your going criticism? On in circle. Sorry. What What is the criticism that's not being addressed? Um, the fact that if I say I value one object and I don't value the other then the whole point of this syllogism that I'm looking at the screen here in yellow is that I'm going to trait equalize it and then it's going to force me to concede because it's a contradiction. You can't get me to do that. And if you don't understand what I'm saying like this, I don't think you understand what the argument is. To force you to concede what? You cut out. I didn't hear it. It is forcing... It it is saying, look, I'm going to turn this object into the mm-hmm. same thing of this object through trait mm-hmm. equalization process, however you envisage uh-huh. that process to be. Mm-hmm. And if you say that you value it and you don't value it, then you're contradicting yourself. However, okay. the okay. problem is you can't juxtapose any identity of the retained identity. You haven't retained any identity. And if you're saying, no, 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 we don't care about retained identity, I'm just pointing at a whole new separate object that you never cared about in the first place, then that's fine. 
but then you're not forcing any contradiction on me, and this whole argument is impotent. No, see again. Now we're going in circles because again, the way I could do, I'll do the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing and just say, examine the original. Examine the original, and if yeah, they but give if I examine the original, value, I'm looking then, at something. Then it, then it entails. Then it sifts between. It's, and then if they give a different value, then it's a contradiction. If they don't, then it implies that it implies that they can have a value that's that can be attempted to be shown in absurdity. So it accomplishes the same thing. Remember, yeah, what's trying to be accomplished here is not. Remember, what's trying to be accomplished here is not to entail a contradiction. What's trying to be accomplished here is to sift between whether the view is contradictory, or whether the view is something of a specific value that can be reduced to an absurdity. Now, what I've presented to you avoids your criticisms and it also accomplishes this all the same. So look, let's make this super simple. We present to the name the trait opponent, a woman and a chicken. We ask them, do you value the chicken? Then we ask them, do you value the woman? They say, yes, we value the chicken. Yeah, uh, sorry, no, we don't value the chicken. Yes, we value the woman. And then you're saying, now, tell me again, do you value the chicken? And they're supposed to say yes? Like, it no, doesn't make any fucking sense. No, excuse me. It's not that they're supposed to say yes. See, then when you say, when you, okay, see, I, I think I'm understanding where it's coming from. When you say, it's not that they're supposed to say yes. It's not that they're supposed to say, it's not that you're trying, you're already, you're already reframing the purpose and name the trait when you say it's they're supposed to say yes. When you say they're supposed to say yes, you're trying to frame the purpose and name the trait to entail a contradiction. So again, that's not the purpose. Well, that, that, that's literally the purpose of the argument. It's not, no, no, it's not. It's not. We've well, been through it, this many times. Dude, not, read, not, read the silly. Nope. Dude, read no, the silly. Go the ahead, read it. Read it. If your view affirms a given uh, human is trait equalizable notice, to a given non-human animal. Notice how there's an if, right? There's an yeah, end. so then so that that means that, that means the purpose can't be the purpose can't be to force a contradiction on all on on people's views on all people's views because that's why there's an if there because if the view is not it doesn't affirm that then it wouldn't result in a contradiction. No, look, look. P two, your view affirms a given human is trait equalizable to a given they bunch of animals. Then they could yeah, reject. So reject they could reject, 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 reject P two. Yeah, you, you reject P two. But that reject means that you've P2. named a trait. Uh, yes, and and that uh, you've been How is that different from my framing? Yeah, because uh, uh, you you might not reduce me to absurdity. You you, you need to have to really? force a contradiction or reduce is, me to absurdity. It, if you can do neither, if you can do neither. Okay, so how does my view? How argument... does my framing do neither, and this other framing do one of those things? Okay, well I've got an object here which I value, and I've got an object there which I don't value. Mm -hmm. Show me where my contradiction is or my. The question is, how does the original, how does the trait equalization accomplish sifting between contradiction and absurdity and the logical possible iterations framing not do that? Well, well you haven't forced a contradiction on me or no reduced me to absurdity. To Can you just demonstrate? Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Great. So what's the, what's the case? Okay, so I value this object, I value the atoms in this object, and then if you ask me, well, if, is it okay to holocaust things with different atoms, I'll say no, because I value these atoms, and I'll just keep adding the... Yeah, that would go to an infinite torture reductio. It would justify infinite torture as long as they have those atoms, and most people would look yeah, at no, that. But, I don't know what... what, what but, but then they'll I say no. The reductio, yeah. No, no, because you say, is it okay to torture these animals over here with these atoms or these humans with these different atoms. I'll be like, no, I value those atoms and I value those atoms and I value these atoms. What is, and what so is, then you okay, have so to what is the trade? What is the trade? I'm confused. Um, I value specific atoms and I can tell you each. Okay. Group so of if atoms those that specific, I, okay. So if those specific atoms were lacking, but the being was sentient and, and the being was intelligent, then the being could be tortured infinitely. That's the reduction. Yeah. But, I, but, but if if the being was intelligent, then I'd value those atoms as well, and I'll just keep valuing the atoms. Well, then you're not just the valuing them. The... Well, wait, wait. Then now you're not just valuing atoms. Now you're changing the trait. Now no, you're that's... valuing value. Now, now intelligence yeah, yeah, no, I, I, grants a proxy of that's what name, of value. That, that's what name the trait allows you to do. You can just add. Sure, but now yeah, now you're just... changing your now you're changing your answer. Fine. So if you want to change your answer, you can. But just acknowledge that you've changed your answer. I want the trait. So I'm not going to ask you again. What you, you can. 
you can just keep adding traits and adding things. I could just sure. be pretty particular about it. One can, and just say, one can do that. Sure, that's fine. One can do that. So can and you? It's useful. It's very useful. Can you, it's very can you reduce me to absurdity or show that I have a contradiction? Sure, that's what that's what is being tried to be done. Now, again, the question is how, in what way, is my framing unable to do that in the way the, that the trade equalization framing is able to do that? Well, they're both equally impotent. Okay, so there is no way then that they're that they're both equally impotent. So I, again, so <sighs> okay, so it seems to be the case, at least from the way I've used it, that they both do a good job of either sifting between contradiction and absurdity. Now, we can we can run, we can do practice sessions here. When you play the Carnus, then I can just run name the trait on you if you like. And you can keep stacking traits and adding traits, and I can continue to reduce to absurdity. We know you can't because, like, you're not... I can just value everything I want to value. I can say, I value everything mm -hmm. that I value. And that doesn't I'll mean it won't be reduced the, to these absurdity. Asimogia. That doesn't Sorry? mean it won't be reduced to absurdity. Yeah, but, but because, how? The, 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 the reductio would be... Said, I said... It would I just said, be completely... I said, I, said, I said it may be reduced to... It could be reduced to absurdity. And you said it can't because I could value whatever I want to value. Now, there's no entailment between one valuing whatever they want to value and not being reduced to absurdity. So I don't see how that's an answer, I what I just said. Well, I can just keep adding traits until I, uh, you, you're... A reductio is sufficiently, and and you can't force a contradiction. No one's the saying argument... there needs to be a con no one's saying there needs to be a force yeah, the, of a contradiction. It doesn't have to nope. be a contradiction. No, nope. but nope. either you um, show a contradiction or you reduce me to absurdity. Yeah. And if I keep okay. adding traits yeah. and adding that's, traits and adding traits and saying that's these the things purpose. and that thing, and it seems you to can do, do a very good job. Yep. I well, listen. I've I've run this many times. I've run it many times when people keep adding traits. I've done it many times. It seems to do a good job of, of doing that, of sifting between contradiction and reducing to absurdity when people try to trade stack too. I'm not, I'm no, I'm, I'm, it's not my first rodeo with trade stackers. It's not my first rodeo with people who keep adding trade. Look, yeah, the sure. point, so at the end of the young, day, the point is, the point is it does a good job. It does a good job. And again, the, 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 the point is also name the trait doesn't in and of itself demonstrate the absurdity. For that, you actually have to do more work on your part. What the work it does for you is it can sift between something that's a contradiction and figuring out if it is a non a non contradiction. And within non contradiction, it can part it can atomize or it can be it can mark with precision what it is that a person is valuing to a better degree than simply asking them what they value. Okay, so that's name the trait is able for me to justify eating meat because I can successfully name a trait which I'm ha happy with and I can say, yep, I've won name the trait. You've not reduced me to absurdity I don't, and I've not no. been contradicted. Yeah. So I've won. What? And in particular okay, so you're, you're missing the point of what name the trait is. Okay, so I'll, I'll go in. So name the trait is the, it will sift. The point of name a trait is to sift between contradiction and that which is non-contradiction, and that which is non-contradiction, it allows you to precisely, to precisely and accurately, better than just asking what they value, to precisely and accurately pinpoint what it is that they value. Now, once that's done, you have work to do on your part to show absurdity. There's other that's not going to be done with name the trade. You have work to do on another part, but that sifting process is systematic, and it does a good job of doing it. Uh, I just don't agree that it's more useful than marginal cases and that's okay great that's a different that's this is a subjective a different topic okay great I, and you don't and you and you would be speculating and i would be speculating and neither neither of us have exactly so so you okay, so personally you don't know find the argument don't, useful. Don't i personally don't know don't that it's more useful find... i can't you don't know that you can have no data that it's more useful i have no data that it's more useful this is a completely different point whether it's whether it's more useful or not than marginal cases now yeah sure so again okay so i think that all the, so all it's clear that if one were to ch so it's clear that if one were to change the words trade equalization to logically possible iteration your criticisms of coherence your criticisms relating to law of identity they don't apply they no, it'll be exactly the same they don't apply, and also the no, they don't apply, and they would well, be exactly the same with respect. Well, you're not addressing them in either case, so no, you don't need in to. That sense, you wouldn't need to. You wouldn't need to address a criticism that doesn't apply. Yeah, well, okay. Well, in that, in that sense, it doesn't apply. If you if you right, 
don't do want you to need to address it. do you need to address criticisms that don't apply to your view well it seems to be centered to the argument but if you're asserting do it's I not need central to address to the argument, criticisms that don't apply to my view well if your view is some fringe understanding of what to men address trait is then that fine. don't apply to my view well you don't I have to okay, if great. your view is a fringe so if, and if my view wait and if my view carries the same value as the previous view if my view carries the same value as the previous view the same socratic value as the previous view and it avoids your criticisms it does or it, your criticisms don't apply then you telling me i haven't addressed your criticism is just irrelevant okay well that that's that's fine if, if my criticism isn't relevant to your usage of the argument of name and trait that's absolutely fine. We don't have to That's address it if you don't use that name and trait in that way. Like, let, let's say, let's say, let, let's say you went, uh, you were walking down the street and you found a shoe on the floor, and you use this shoe to have abundant joy in a, a joy in your life. That's absolutely fine. It's not what the shoe was for, but you can use it for that. And if you're happy using the shoe and you find value in the shoe that you found on the street, it's absolutely fine. Name the trait. It's got an argument there. It's got a specific thing it does. And my critique is based on a critique of the law of identity being broken on it. You don't seem to find that part of name trait valuable, despite it being a core pillar of name trait. But you don't have to. Well, find you that you don't seem absolutely... to. Well, wait a minute. You you agreed that it retains the same Socratic value when when I change it to my framing. So you you are on the same page with me on that. So you so, agree so that it say it you, retains you've the already same... agreed. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, you've already agreed you're, you're, that it retains you're the same Socratic, Socratic value, you're, you're and Socratic you've also value. agreed that your criticisms don't apply. Your, your Socratic value is something slightly different to what name trait is doing, in my now, okay, opinion. So, okay, if so you think now, it, now what is that then? What is the what's different then? Um, what's different in well, the Socratic value? The 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 and by and the by, fact, by specifically, what I mean specifically by that is. The, with the ability to shift between contradiction and non-contradiction and per, pinpoint down what it is that's being valued in the category of non-contradiction. What is yeah, it but, that's being, what is it, let me finish, what is it that is different between the trait equalization view of name the trait or the trait equalization framing of name the trait and the wording, just changing the wording to logically possible iteration, that framing. What is the ability, what's the difference in ability to sift between contradiction, non-contradiction, and pinpoint out specific values within the category of non-contradiction? I want that clearly explained. Um, okay, so let me try and clearly explain this before going to bed, because it's six. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, so your version of name and trait, or your, your visualization of it, you have these possible worlds, or, or these iterations, and then you just say, look over there, there's the original chicken that you didn't value. Do you value it now? And then the name the trait argument seems to say that if, if you can retain identity or retain moral value between, um, uh, but, but between the thing that you, you used to value, but you turned it into the thing that you didn't value, but now you still value it, then... And that's a contradiction. And that is the subtle point, which I difference? think we're talking past based, each other. Based, they just say this, that they just, they all end up in the same place. P and not P is a contradiction. So what's the what's symmetry the, break? Sure. The con contradiction is P and not P is a contradiction, but mm -hmm. P1 and not P2 or, or something like this it isn't isn't a, that's not a contradiction no, no, because you both just, they both two end, different. they both end they both end in p and not p is a contradiction so when someone whether someone wants to make the case that if they take object a and everything including history and nominal value nominal categorization or everything is just equalized to object b if object a is equalized to object b you're just saying and you change, and the value is the different then you're just saying p and not p at that point that terminates a P not P. Now, when I say examine the original and they say in one case P and they say in another case not P, they're saying P and not P. They're both. Yeah, but no one would do that. And that's where my point is. Dude. And you that think people would do is. that in the first and you people would do that. Why go to people? Why can't you just make the same case? Why can't you make the same defense in the trade equalization? Why can't you just well, that's, say that's no what one would do that? If that, is, isn't that, this the same thing? 
Isn't that's a difference same? in wording. That's a difference in wording, so which is a difference in wording, which trips them up. Is that what you're saying? No, like it, it's it's look, hinting look, at something what, slightly what, different. What is the breaker? It, it's right. Basically, you can use the name, the trait argument, and the dialogue flow tree and everything in the same way as you're using it. But the name, the trait thing that I'm looking at on the screen right now in yellow tries to go a step beyond what you're saying. So although it's functionally it identical in the way that you're using it, you're not using it to the way, the, the full extent that it's supposed What's to be used. What's the full used. extent? What is the full, full extent? The full extent is to try and show that if someone um, values the, the nominal identity still of their mum, who's been turned into a chicken or something, then um, they would uh, still value yeah, right. That's the whole point, right? Whether they've been no, turned into no, a chicken, no, whether they've been no, no, uh, iter no, iterated no, into a chicken. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. If someone, if someone, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Let me just, let me just get clarity because it's getting really late. I'm, maybe, I'm getting tired. Uh, you're saying the point, the the step further is that if someone has this nominal value, that they would still, that they would still value it. Yes, that's the whole that's point the same, of what we we're discussing. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That can just as easily be done in the logical possible iteration case. So I can just say if there's an iteration where there's a nominal value difference, do you value it? And if they say, yes, I value it, and then they say no with the original, then they then they would value the nominal case. So where's the symmetry breaker? Wait, so so what? So the, the thing is, if you've got the nominal value there, right, and then you've then taken away the nominal value and made it the exact same thing in the final step, right, then now mm -hmm. you've now got uh, you've lost the identity. There's nothing to juxtapose. Mm -hmm. So what's are you, the, are you finally what's getting the my final critique? Step? Critique, what's, if, what's the final step? The final step is now saying, look, you've just contradicted yourself because you think that something has retained more value when if, if, actually you just said. Wait, wait. There's an if. If they did say, if they did say different answers, and you employed that final step, then that would be a contradiction. Remember, yeah. there's an if clause. Remember that that if clause thing. So, so if yeah, yeah but then that's just rejecting P two. Sure, and it's I could do the same thing with I could do the same thing with logical possible iterations. I can say that's if it. if we ask you to examine the penultimate and say it has value, and it, and you and you do say it has value, and then we ask you to examine the original and say it does not have value, then it entails a contradiction. P two. We have asked you to examine the penultimate and asked you to examine the original, and you have concluded the penultimate has value and does not, and the ult, and the original does not have value. Therefore, your view contradicts itself. Okay, where, there we have it. Where is the there is a disagreement? Is the there is a disagreement, right? And um, so you've just finally grasped what the objection is, right? So if we're saying that there is a nominal sense. And you're trying to force a contradiction from the juxtaposition of a nominal sense, then I can value the nominal identity, and there is no contradiction because it's not the same proposition. The logical, and you can do that whether it's in the form of a logically possible iteration, or you can do that whether it's changing the identity, changing the nominal identity, and changing it from one thing to another, or whether it's just asking you to examine a logical possible iteration where there's a nominal identity, and then just examine the original. Those two things accomplish the same thing where's the symmetry breaker Where... because you, you you seem to be you seem to be conflating um a juxtaposition with just looking at a different object examining two different two different things we're well, examining two different things and asking for a value judgment now, in the case of yeah, a trade sure. equalization, there's examination of two different things and asking for value judgment. The only thing that's different is in the trade equalization, there's an, an implication that one is thing is changing to another thing. We're changing one thing to another thing. I don't need to do that, and I can accomplish the same thing. I don't need to say one thing is changing to another thing, and I can accomplish everything that I've originally been trying to accomplish. But but it doesn't matter if it's changing to another thing. If that's you're saying point. that... that if, if you're saying that examine the final one and examine the penultimate one and if mm -hmm. and they're two different things but then there's mm -hmm. a contradiction if you think they're mm -hmm. valuable Wait, or not valuable what? 
then what? No, that's not a contradiction. No, 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 no. If someone says examine the penultimate one and examine the final one, then there's a contradiction. If you value one and not the other, there, that doesn't entail a contradiction. Exactly. It does, no, it doesn't. doesn't entail no, one, a contradiction. no one says it does. So no you one need, says it does. Yeah, no, so you need to move to the final one. Yes, so and I say, can move to the fi- and I can move to the final one by two different ways. I can move to the final one by saying examine a, a logical possible iteration of the penultimate and then examine the original. I can also move by saying one changes to another. Now, that's I've done the, it accomplishes the same thing. I sift through contradictory views versus pinpointing down what the value is in both framings. I've but done it, the it, same uh, thing. The only it, difference it, it, it is I've matter. avoided your criticisms. No, no, you haven't because it doesn't matter if it's it's a metamorphosis or whether it's an iteration because exactly. when you get to exactly. the final one when exactly. yeah when you get to the final one mm-hmm. you've just lost the identity of Wait, what you were what on my on view my... on my view when you look at an iteration and then you examine the original what what identity is being lost or well, any semblance of the thing that you previously cared about Wait, yeah, the, the, wait, any sense wait, of wait. the similarity to the original. Hold it's on. an iteration. Hold on. I have, I have, no, what, look, on my framing, where is, there a, where is there a problem? What's the problem with my framing? Um, the problem demonstrating contradiction. Right, so, um, no one, if you no, say that. Neither, of you, neither, try, neither, neither attempt to demonstrate a contradiction. Or then you're not talking about name the trait because name the no, trait name the, trade, the purpose name... of name the trait is not to demonstrate a contradiction i think we've been over this like many like i don't know how many times Dude, I've said that. Uh, i don't want to be rude but maybe you should just re- read the name the trait i've read it it the, the purpose of name the trait is not to entail a contradiction i mean look okay let's go through let's go through premise let's go through the premises i mean look <sighs> i don't have a link right now it's getting really late um let's see Someone link, uh, okay, P1. Actually, I'm going to uh, pipe up at this point. I think that Avi is getting sucked too far into a debate, and I know this guy has to go work at a hospital tomorrow. So do you guys want to maybe pick this up at a later time? Sure, we can. Just real quick, look, P1, if your view for, if your view affirms a given human is trade equalizable to a non-human animal or a tiny more value, then your view can only, be, can only deny a given non-human animal has more value on pain of P and not P. P2, your view affirms that a given human is trade equalizable to a given non-human value while retaining more value uh, to a non-human animal while retaining more value. Conclusion, therefore, your view can only deny that the given non-human is anim- has value and moral value and P and P and not P. But nowhere it says that someone's... But again, someone could just reject P2. Again, so look, I can rewrite this entire thing right here and say if your view affirms that a given human uh in that there's a I, I can just instead of saying trade equalizable all i can just say is that there's a logical possible iteration and if you say that if that through the logical possible iterations if you go back to the original if you examine the original and say p and not p then it's a contradiction p2 that is your view uh and then see therefore it's p and not p now that's not the point of it where it's how it's used is not to demonstrate a contradiction Someone can, no one, someone can just very easily look at this and say, well, I reject P2. We grant that people can reject premises in this argument. And then the point of that is, okay, we get to sift and pick and pinpoint what it is that they're valuing. I can rewrite this syllogism for with my framing just as easily. And what would you say? Um, sure. Um, my last point before we leave it would be, from what you've just said, the point of that argument then would be, look, value her, yes. Look at this chicken. Do you value the chicken? Yes. Are you sure you value the woman? Yes. Are you sure you value the chicken? I actually, no, 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 I don't. I've changed my mind now. Or, you know what I mean? Like, like it's just, you've just pointed to the same object you were talking about. Mm-hmm. And, and ago, so like, does the tra- trade equalization does the same thing. Same thing. Yeah, it's, it's just, uh, I, don't, I don't think you're using it in the same where's way the, as... Where's the it, where's yeah, the I, I don't know. Let, let's, let's just um, say, let, let's wrap this up. I'd, I'd say at this point, the way that you're proposing it should be used, um, you're not addressing the criticism and that's fine because you don't have to. to use it in that way. I feel as a result of that, it's an impotent argument because you it can't show a contradiction and you can't reduce me and you can't reduce me to absurdity. So, 
So, so I, I just don't think it's a potent argument, and I, I think marginal cases is a better argument. And I think that's where I'm going to leave it. I think we're just going to have to uh, just end this now because um, I think you've been really patient with me, and I've really been trying to um, describe where I'm coming from here. But we, we've got a cut the conversation off. It's getting too late. Six, uh, fifteen, my side, and you've got to go and work tomorrow. So. Um, yeah, that's how I feel about it. We can continue this at a later date. I don't know if we necessarily need to. All right. Um, well, um, yeah. Let's. Uh, if you if you want to come back and try to you know defend the LOI stuff, then you can just let us know. Uh, good debate, guys. Cool. Let's uh, let's call it there. And obviously, you guys can add each other and you know set something up if you want.